Chapter 101 The Navy Attacks Kong Zan looked at the system. Blood relative system. Blood relative number 1, Butterfly Shinobi, expand, exchangeable. Blood relative number 2, Sayatak Hagi, expand, exchangeable. Blood relative number 3, Buzu Shima Seko, expand, exchangeable. Blood relative number 4, Nage Zatan, expand, exchanged. Blood relative number 5, Mano Shiho, expand, exchangeable. Blood relative number 6, Yamato, expand, exchangeable. Blood relative number 7, Yeri, expand, exchangeable. Blood relative number 8, Mikasa, expand, exchangeable. Blood relative number 9, Robin, expand, exchangeable. Blood relative number 10, Makino, expand, exchangeable, can be slid down. Dot. Note, redeemable means can redeem abilities, bloodlines, etc. with less than 3000 points. Redeemed means it has been exchanged. Slave system, slave number 1, area, expand, exchanged. Slave number 2, Kamidao rise, expand, exchanged. Slave number 3, Raftalia, expand, exchanged. Slave number 4, Philo, expand, redeemable. Already the end. Note, redeemable means that it can be exchanged for abilities, bloodlines, etc. below 1500 points. Redeemed means it has been exchanged, unknowingly. His own power has gradually grown. Tap tap tap. The sound of footsteps came from a distance. It was a very dense sound of footsteps. Are you here? Kong Zan touched his chin and murmured. His eyes looked not far away. It's so scary. There is such a big ship here. His Aru's obscene voice came. The shadows in the forest gradually appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Hey, you must be Kizaru. Fight with me. Yamato pulled out the ice blue sword. Without saying anything, he pointed at Kizaru. You're going to fight right now? It's really scary. Kizaru said it was scary, but he didn't show any intention of retreating. The navy also raised their guns and prepared to attack. Immediately afterwards, Yamato rushed directly towards Kizaru. Mikasa and Hiyari looked at each other. Their target is the navy. Mikasa turned into a shadow and went straight towards the 500 marines. Red Suzaku wings sprouted from Hiyari's back, and she jumped up, surrounded by a terrifying temperature. Kizaru, on the other hand, instantly condensed the Amankanyan sword and blocked Yamato's attack with one strike. Bang bang bang. The marines attacked Mikasa and Hiyari with guns randomly. Hey, hey. Hey, why did this become a shadow? And what's that one with red wings? I'll go. What the hell are these kids? Monsters. Yes, eat the devil fruit. But the sea stone bullets are useless. What? How is that possible? Dot. I thought they were a few children, but they didn't care. As a result, the other party attacked, and they were dumbfounded. What the hell kind of monster is this? Sea floor stone bullets don't work. Yari was like a phoenix. The parts of his body that were hit recovered instantly. Mikasa directly turned her left and right hands into shadow blades. Swish. Swish, swish, one sword per navy, these elite navy soldiers are nothing more than that. Only five seconds, dozens of people fell to the ground. Yari also lost interest, gathered a ten-meter fireball, and threw it directly at the group of marines. Boom, the huge fireball instantly wiped out nearly a hundred of them. Monster, this must be a fucking monster. Dot. The marines were dumbfounded. It was just a face-to-face -face encounter. Almost half of the five hundred people remained. It's really scary, seeing the navy being suppressed. Kizaru instantly appeared in front of Hiyari in the sky. Have you ever been kicked at the speed of light? Kizaru said casually. His feet turned into golden light. Bang. Kicked Hiyari directly. Boom. Dust flew everywhere. See this. The Navy's fighting spirit is back. Lieutenant General Kizaru. Lieutenant General Kizaru. Dot. They cheered. But after the dust dispersed, Hiyari had already stood up. The whole body is intact. Hey. No. He obviously looks like a child of seven or eight years old. He took a kick from Lieutenant General Kizaru. But he was still intact. Dot. Now the Navy's three views it exploded again. Everyone was dumbfounded. How could such a thing happen? Ha ha ha. You actually got kicked. Yari, you are so stupid. Yamato laughed. Ah, uh, Yamato, what do you mean? Yari patted the dust on his body. Seeing Yamato laughing at him, he instantly became angry and his face fell. A red sword suddenly appeared in his hand. Head straight towards Yamato. Well done. Then let's see who is more powerful today. Yari, Yamato became serious. This stance was more serious than when he was fighting Kizaru just now. He directly faced Yeri. Don't say that the navy was dumbfounded by this scene. Even Kong Zan was numb. Are you going to fix this for me? Shua. Sure. Ding dong. Yeri and Yamato clashed with each other. Terrifying ice power surged out of Yamato's body. Yeri's body was filled with rising temperatures. The terrifying energy between the two of them. Even the space seemed to be trembling. TCH. It's starting again. Mikasa's eyes twitched. Neither of them were reliable. Then let me annihilate all the enemies this time. Suddenly, she opened her hands. Stand up shadows. Mikasa said coldly, crunch, crunch. The shadows of the fallen corpses got up one by one, except for the shadow of the marine corpse, and the shadows of those heads gradually merged together, 
turning into a mass of black humanoid monsters. A terrifying dark atmosphere enveloped the surroundings. You dot are you kidding them? What is this? Dot. All the Navy were confused. Exclamation mark there are more and more outrageous things happening today. These marines are cursing their mothers inside, go and annihilate them. Mikasa commanded the shadows in a cold voice. The shadows all rushed towards the navy, looking at his comrade-like face. They gritted their teeth, picked up their guns, and started shooting. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. Dot. A series of messy gunshots rang out in the woods. And because of the fireball just now, the fire also spread. And will guns be useful against shadow? Obviously. Nothing works. The little devil now is really scary. Hizaru pointed his finger at Mikasa. Wish wish. Three golden lasers flew towards Mikasa. And she instantly turned into a shadow and escaped into the ground. Rushed towards Kizaru. Wah. The shadow blade slashed towards Kizaru. Kizaru quickly blocked it with a Dankanyan sword. It's really awesome. Then he slashed at Mikasa several times in a row. Ding dong. Ding dong. The two blades met and made such a sound. Hey, Yamato. Dairy. You too. Stop fighting. Go help Mikasa. Maginot couldn't stand it anymore. Yamato and Hiari have been fighting for a long time. Throw water on the enemy into the Atlantic Ocean, but have no brains on your own people. The main reason is that my own people now have extremely strong resilience and almost never die no matter what, so they can let go to the enemy. He might be killed by accident. Dash. Chapter 102 Complete Victory Hear Maginot's words. Only then did Hiari and Yamato notice Mikasa. Let's stop fighting first. Yamato. There are still enemies. Yari was the first to regain his senses and then spoke. After all, she was also a little impulsive just now. I understand. Yamato nodded lightly. Both of them turned their attention to Kizaru. Wah, one red and one blue blade was directly attached to the armed Haki, and it slashed towards Kizaru. Upon seeing this, Kizaru quickly dodged. The two women missed it. You almost hit me. Kizaru looked at the marines who were almost wiped out and frowned in annoyance. In that case, eight-foot Magatama, Kizaru flashed into the air again in an instant. Countless light bombs were fired at them instantly. Boom, 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 dot. It was like countless cannons hitting the ground. Then, he moved his target to the group of shadow people. But light hitting shadow? Come on, it's no use at all. Again, when there is light, there is shadow. When there is no light, there is shadow. Everyone evacuates. Kizaru shouted immediately. Seeing Kizaru's order, all the navy could no longer hold their nerve. He ran straight back. They did not evacuate because they were afraid of being caught and ended up deserting. After all, they are navy elites. But with such a disastrous failure, if the reputation worsens, years of hard work will be in vain. It's better to fight to the death. At least you can keep your innocence in this world. But it was different with Kizaru's order. After all, it was an order from a superior. They ran back crazily to avoid the pursuit of the shadow man. Mikasa didn't want to let her go. She stepped towards Kizaru again, holding a shadow blade in each hand. The breath of terror fluttered with a black scarf, teleporting like a ghostly shadow. Faint, both true and false. Hey, I don't have time to continue playing. Kizaru pretended to be calm and turned around to escape. But what is a shadow? Can a shadow travel slower than the speed of light? No, of course shadows travel faster than light. For such a simple question, you can come to the same conclusion by doing a simple experiment under a streetlight or thinking about it while squatting in the toilet. But the only question is that under normal circumstances, shadow is not material and cannot transmit information. But Mikasa is different. She is now the god of shadows. Dot the shadow demon. The person who can completely control the shadow can also completely solve this problem. A strong shadow or a suddenly erupted from Mikasa's body. Immediately afterwards, instantly appeared next to Kizaru. Drink. Mikasa roared and struck with two shadow blades. Kizaru quickly blocked it with the Aman Kong Yun sword. But Mikasa used so much force this time that even Kizaru couldn't stay steady. Ding dong. Bang. He was instantly knocked to the ground by Mikasa's blow. Boom. Kizaru was knocked to the ground directly. At the same time, Yamato directly attached the armed color haki to the blade. Just cut it down. Wah. Kizaru wanted to dodge quickly, but found that he couldn't move. His eyes suddenly widened. This time, he was really panicked. How is that possible? He looked up. Suddenly, he noticed Mikasa stretching out her hand in the air as if doing something good. At this moment, Mikasa froze his shadow. In this case, Kizaru would naturally not be able to move, unless he is separated from the shadow. Of course, this is impossible. Ah. Kizaru's left arm was cut off directly. Shua. Blood sprayed out. The whites of his eyes were now bloodshot. Paralysis. Unexpectedly, I was tricked. The next second, he could move. After all, there is still a gap between Mikasa's own strength and Kizaru's. It's nice to be able to control it for a little while. Kizaru covered his left arm and flew directly into the air. It's just a matter of a moment. And at this moment, Yari was waiting for him in the sky. I'll give this kick back to you. Yari kicked Kizaru directly in the abdomen. Bang. The terrifying flames coming out of his feet went directly through his body. PFFT.
His Aru's eyes were as wide as copper bells. He was really careless this time. I really didn't expect that the other party had such strength. His internal organs felt like they were roasted and the pain was excruciating. Arsal. His Aru cursed secretly. I don't even bother to say the words. With his right hand, he suddenly didn't know whether to cover his stomach or the broken arm on his left side. But even though he was repelled, he still didn't give up. Used all the strength. Wah. It turned into a flash of light and flew away instantly. Don't you run so fast. Yamato said in surprise as he looked at the flash of light in the sky. T.S.K. I didn't kill him. Yari curled her lips, but then said casually, but he shouldn't live long. My flames have already destroyed his stomach, liver, intestines, kidneys, etc. My body is all burned up. Mikasa also took a long breath and said, it's finally over. She stretched. Just like that, the three of them turned around and walked onto the boat. As for those shadows, Mikasa didn't care anymore. She gave them an order to chase the navy and ignored it. She was probably still catching the remnants of the navy. Dash, well done, come and have something to eat. Kongzan smiled. On the table in front of him was a banquet. It was the food Kongzan bought with his points. There are all kinds. Wow, brother Kongzan, you guys are having a great time back there. Yari complained, picked up a big chicken drumstick and started eating. Okay, I'm just hungry. Yamato devoured the food regardless of his appearance. Mikasa poured a glass of juice and drank some, feeling a little thirsty. You still need to practice more. It's still so hard to fight a lieutenant general. Kongzan sighed then looked at Yamato and Hiri, and said slightly seriously, the most important thing is you. They are still fighting. The enemy is right next to you, and they are still fighting among themselves. Yamato almost couldn't swallow his mouthful. He was startled by Kongzan's words, and he laughed quickly and said, Brother Kongzan, I'm sorry. Not next time yes. Hiri also nodded repeatedly. Yes, not anymore. The two of them really sang in harmony. Kongzan looked at the two of them and felt a little dumbfounded. No wonder their fathers are also bitter enemies. Okay. Okay. Anyway, thank you for your hard work. Eat and drink well. We should move our positions after playing for two more days. It's time for you to continue practicing. Kongzan said with a chuckle, and then stood got up. Okay. Each of them started to speak with a smile. Kongzan walked towards the cabin and stretched a little. The bones creaked. Somewhat tired. This year, he bought a lot of comic books to read. It's so boring after all. The law of destruction has also reached the intermediate level. Then to reach the advanced law of destruction, it actually costs 500,000 points. In other words, the original price is 5 million. Outrageous. Getting more and more outrageous. Although it is indeed very strong, it takes a long time. Well, it should take a few years. Fortunately, I have the privilege of being a group leader, otherwise it would probably take more than 10 or 20 years to collect so many points. Chapter 103 Two Little Fox Demons Court Evening Kongzan looked at Mikasa who was already sleeping soundly in his arms, holding his body tightly at this moment. Her expression was calm. It's been a year since I went to my room almost every day. This little girl, after coming here once, was simply out of control. But it's pretty good to sleep with my baby in my arms every day. And she always smells good. I don't know if it's because I finished taking a shower. Kongzan smoothed her black hair a little. It has grown a lot in the past year. Ah. Uh, hug me tighter. Speaking of which, Mikasa does have a bad habit. Every time in the middle of the night, I like to scratch my own tail. How outrageous. She also likes to hold herself between her thighs. The octopus type. It was fine in the first half of the night. But in the second half of the night, my animalistic nature came out, and I hugged her tightly, like a dog skin plaster. Although it feels pretty good, actually dot it's pretty good. But I don't have much time with Seko anymore, because Mikasa has to come here to sleep every day, she can't let Seko come, otherwise it will be embarrassing. Alas poor Seko usually we can only go outside to play privately together. There is only room for two people. Hey, it's true, this clingy little Mikasa, Kongzan thought with a sigh. He also closed his eyes and fell asleep. Dot in the end, I didn't sleep for long. The red dots in the group chat keep popping out. Good guy. What's happening here? Kongzan clicked in. Ding. Group member Tu Shan Hong Hong was attacked by a Taoist priest, asking group members for help. Task difficulty. Low level. Task reward. 2000 points. Number of people limited. One person. Which member accepts the task? Kan Ki Ken. Was he actually attacked? Or a Taoist priest? No Fumi I Watani. Is she the fox demon the group leader mentioned before? Otherwise, why would he be attacked by Taoist priests? Butterfly ninja, it should be. Add Tushan Hong Hong, how are you doing? Tushan Hong Hong, I didn't expect that my identity as a fox demon would be exposed. I had been hiding it for a year. Tushan Hong Hong, it's okay for the time being. My sister and I were caught in a cage by two humans. Tushan Hong Hong, in a broken house. Tushan Hong Hong wanted them to save her, but she has never spoken in the group and she feels that she is just a stranger to them. She is not sure whether the group members will help. She was a little disappointed. But the next second, the answer came out. Kongzan, don't worry, I'll go there now. She didn't expect that Kongzan, the leader of the group, would respond right away. Tushan Hong Hong, thank you. 
Thank you. She was extremely moved, and she really didn't expect that the other party would actually come to help her. Dash, Dark Knight. In a shabby little house. Sister, what is Tanxian Yuan? They are going to sell us to Tanxian Yuan. What are they going to do? A little fox demon with green hair said softly. She was locked in an iron cage and her body was covered with talismans. These talismans locked their demon power tightly. She is Toshian Rong Rong. No, it'll be okay. In another iron cage. The orange-haired Toshian Hong Hong said but she was obviously trying to be brave. Her demon power was also under control. Are they going to eat us? It doesn't matter, Rong Rong is not afraid. We also ate little rabbits before, now we just treat them as little rabbits. Sister, don't worry, Rong Rong is already an adult. Rong Rong is not afraid. Rong Rong wiped her tears and pretended to be strong. Don't worry, Rong Rong. Sister, I won't let anything happen to you. Tu Shan Hong Hong looked serious, but she was also extremely anxious inside. Will the group leader really come to save him? At this moment, a hand reached out from the corner of the wall next to it. Tushan Hong Hong just said in surprise. As a result, fear ushered in the next second. Senior brother is asleep. Once my senior brother falls asleep, it is difficult to wake him up. Here is the little Taoist priest next to the old Taoist priest. Hong Hong was frightened all of a sudden. The green pupils shrank sharply. He walked towards the red cage step by step. Shua, the little Taoist priest was suddenly shaken away by a mysterious force. Boom. He was knocked directly to the wall and fainted. Covered in blood. Even the walls are cracked. Xiao Hong Hong, let me save you. This voice is right. I heard it before during the group leader's live broadcast. This time it must be the group leader. He looked nervously at the visitor. It wasn't until Kong Zan's face appeared that Toshan Hong Hong breathed a sigh of relief. Now you can rest assured. That's wrong. What the hell is Xiao Hong Hong? Hong Hong suddenly reacted, with some shame and anger on her face. Is this little Rong Rong? It's so cute. Kong Zan smiled and turned his head slightly to look at Rong Rong. Hey, sister, is he an acquaintance of yours? Did he come to save us? Won't we be sold to Tanxian Yuan? Rong Rong asked several questions in succession. Before Hong Hong could answer, Kong Zan spoke first. Of course, you will be fine. Don't worry I guarantee you. Kong Zan's gentle and domineering words made Hong Hong's eyes brighten. Sure enough, not all human males are bad. What the nanny said is wrong, Hong Hong thought to herself. Then, Kong Zan walked towards Hong Hong with several iron bars of the cage between them. Hold the two iron rods with both hands and pull them to both sides. Creak. The two iron rods were pulled out of an arc in an instant. So dot so amazing, same as sister. Rong Rong was stunned by this scene. Her red eyes were even more radiant. The group dot the leader of the group, Hong Hong shouted. What's wrong? I'm going to tear up these talismans of yours. Are you wronged? Kong Zan said softly, then waved his hand, signaling for her to come out. Okay, Hong Hong nodded repeatedly and walked out of the iron cage. It hurts a little, just bear with it, Kong Zan said. Yeah, Hong Hong responded. His eyes did not leave Kong Zan's cheek. Just like that. Kong Zan tore off the talismans from her body one by one. Thank you, group leader. This way you can release your demonic power, Hong Hong said. A wave of demonic power suddenly surged out of her body. She walked towards Rong Rong. Drink. Hong Hong, like Kong Zan, held the iron rod with both hands and pulled it away forcefully. But obviously, she had to work harder. As for Kong Zan, he looked at the half-dead little Taoist priest beside him. Basically the bones have been shattered and he is almost dead. Don't blame me for being sorry for you. After all, in the original novel, you made Hong Hong emo for so many years, so you might as well die in my hands. Kong Zan curled his lips. Hong Hong tore off all the talismans on Rong Rong, then led Rong Rong to Kong Zan. Rong Rong, this is a group dot ahem, it's boss Kong Zan. Hong Hong introduced, and suddenly remembered that Rong Rong didn't seem to know about group chats, so it would be better to call him boss Kong Zan. Hello, boss Kong Zan. Rong Rong also looked well behaved. Okay, by the way, are all fox demons so cute? Kong Zan rubbed their little heads. Hey sister. He praised me for being cute, Rong Rong said happily. So innocent looking. Yeah, I heard that. Of course, she also understood that Kong Zan was also praising her cuteness, and her face turned red. That dot boss. Can you send us back? Chapter 104 Yu Zhu. That dot boss. Can you take us back? Hong Hong asked. She knew that Kong Zan was already in trouble, but I was still a little worried, in case I met another Taoist priest along the way. No problem. But... Let us deal with the old Taoist priest first, otherwise this guy, he will still harm you Toshan in the future, Kong Zan said seriously. He didn't want these two little guys to be captured again in two days. It's troublesome. Yeah, just let me do it. Don't bother brother Kong Zan. Hong Hong's face was serious, and she clenched her fists with her hands. Kong Zan touched his chin. Are you coming? Okay, drink this. Kong Zan casually took out a transparent glass bottle with red liquid inside. What dot what is this? Hong Hong was a little confused and spoke with confused eyes. Rong Rong on the side was also a little curious. Something that can make you stronger, Kong Zan said calmly. The power of the fox demon comes from true love. The current Hong Hong does not feel extremely guilty towards the little Taoist priest like in the original work. 
and her strength is naturally not as good, but drinking your own blood should change your feelings towards yourself, so you can use this as an experiment, and Hong Hong seemed to understand, she recalled that she had seen it in bits and pieces when watching the group chat before, she knew that this was Kong Zan's blood, it can indeed have magical powers, she took the glass bottle, just drink it with your eyes closed, Gulu, swallow the warm liquid in your mouth directly, suddenly, her eyes were a little startled, so awesome, is this the blood of boss Kong Zan, it feels like the body is completely integrated with the blood, and a steady stream of power fills the whole body, it was so powerful, feeling this power, even Hong Hong was a little dumbfounded. A wonderful connection emerged from his body. For a moment, Kong Zan seemed to become the most important person to him. A savior, or other feelings? She didn't quite understand. Xiao Hong Hong, I'll leave it to you. Kong Zan smiled as he looked at Toshan Hong Hong. Yes, please leave it to me. A different kind of emotion did appear in Hong Hong's heart, and the demon power in her body and the strength of her body increased several times. She walked to the corner, but she didn't expect there to be such a big movement. The old Taoist priest was still sleeping. Dingling bells. The terrifying demonic power made the bells on the formation arranged by the old Taoist priest ring. This is a bell that rings when encountering demonic power. Hong Hong and Rong Rong walked barefoot on the ground. How to describe it? A. Yuzu. Dingling bell. Dingling bell. Dot. For some reason, Hong Hong's demon power is several times stronger than before. Is it because of love, that inexplicable feeling in your heart, or is it because of the blood he just drank? Even Hong Hong herself doesn't understand. The sleeping old Taoist priest also woke up. Although he was old, he was not particularly old. He had a large black mole on his face with hairs on it. Bang, bang, bang. In an instant, all the bells exploded. The old Taoist priest looked shocked. What's going on? Why is this little goblin's demonic power so much stronger? It's like he has just changed. He was very surprised in his heart. Not to mention he was surprised. Even Kong Zan on the side was also very surprised. No matter what, how could the demonic power increase so high? How is this going? Kong Zan is a little weird, because after drinking the host's blood, the other party will invisibly develop positive emotions such as faith, love, loyalty, and other positive emotions towards the host. She may not even notice it at first, but this kind of emotion does exist. It is also because of various complex emotions, and the power of the fox demon comes from true love that its strength has increased so much. The system began to explain. That's it. Kong Zan also understood. She also said that she wanted to kill the Taoist priest. Although she also mixed some of her own hatred, she also mixed with the idea of killing him for herself. Is this also the source of part of the demonic power? After all, her hatred for him now is obviously not as angry as in the original work. HMPH. Don't think that with this little demonic power, I'm afraid of you. I still have some tricks up my sleeve. The old Taoist priest said directly clasping his hands together. Ah, Dan you owed a wang talisman. The old Taoist shouted. I saw a huge golden talisman appearing on the ceiling. Pressed down directly, sister. Rong Rong, who was behind, was a little worried and wanted to step forward. Kong Zan, on the other hand, rubbed her head, smiled to reassure her, and then said, Don't worry, your sister is very strong now. Hong Hong was seen pushing the heaven and earth net talisman that was pressed down slightly. Crimson demonic power emitted and his eyes changed from green to crimson. Bang! This huge and heavy talisman fell apart instantly. How is that possible? The old Taoist priest was shocked. Hong Hong gritted her teeth. She clenched her fists and rushed forward. At this time, she was actually not ruthless under normal circumstances, nor was she so decisive in killing. It was just because this was Kong Zan's order, and she was just like Kong Zan said in her heart, fearing that this kind of person would continue to harm Tu Shan. It was also because of this that she could act so decisively. Shua. She was very fast. One punch penetrated the old Taoist priest's chest directly. The other party's eyes were stunned. I never expected that a little fox demon could have such strong explosive power. Hong Hong took her hand out and waved it away. Blood splattered on the ground. The old Taoist priest retreated continuously, with a trace of blood flowing from the corner of his mouth. But the red arms are not thick now. I'm still a kid now. Even if she poked a hole in the other person's chest, it wouldn't be big. The old Taoist priest covered his chest with one hand to stop the blood. He took out the talisman with one hand focused his eyes, and shouted, fire talisman. Suddenly the talisman turned into flames and rushed towards Hong Hong. Hong Hong stretched out her right hand and waved it casually. Wow, the flames were dispersed directly. Immediately afterwards, she rushed forward again and kicked him away. The terrifying force directly shattered his internal organs. He spit out a large mouthful of blood in an instant. Then he seemed to faint. It's solved. Seeing the other party fall, Hong Hong was relieved. He looked back with a smile and looked at Kong Zan his eyes changing from red to green. But at this moment, the old Taoist priest, who thought he had fainted, opened his eyes. Then he slowly raised his hand. Take out the talisman from your clothes. A flame gathered, sister, behind. Rong Rong shouted quickly. Go to hell. The old Taoist priest used his last strength. A fireball gathered. Could it be dot fireball? Kong Zan touched his chin and walked forward directly. Very slow. But, just when the fireball was launched, 
He instantly appeared behind Hong Hong. Soon, no one present could see clearly. Boom. Dash. Chapter 105 I protect you boom. After a loud noise, Kong Zan was unscathed, but the old Taoist priest was covered in flames. His eyes widened and he looked at Kong Zan in disbelief. He doesn't understand even to the death. Why do fireballs bounce back? So dot so awesome. Wrong wrong said in surprise. He is worthy of being called the boss by his sister. Old dot boss. Hong Hong quickly turned around and lowered her head. Don't be careless next time. If I'm not here. No matter how hard you call the boss. It's useless. Understood? Kong Zan squatted down slightly. Look closely at the cute red cheeks. Um, I understand. Hong Hong nodded vigorously. She looked at Kong Zan, who was very close at hand, and her face turned red. Seeing the other party's appearance, Kong Zan suddenly became fascinated. Depend on. How could there be such cute creatures in the world? Kong Zan felt his scalp numb. I really have no resistance to kawaii guys. Then he stood up. He rubbed his red head. Let's go. Xiao Hong Hong. Xiao Rong Rong. I'll take you back together. Kong Zan said turning his head and looking at Rong Rong. Ah, okay, okay. Big brother is really awesome. As expected of my sister's boss. Rong Rong ran over and shouted, Ha ha, that's right. Kong Zan said that the praise was very helpful, and he scratched his head. Rong Rong, you also have to call me boss, including Ya Ya. From now on, he will be the boss of our three sisters. Hong Hong looked at Rong Rong seriously, full of solemnity. Ah, okay, you will be Rong Rong's boss from now on. Seeing Hong Hong's seriousness, Rong Rong also looked serious, but also very cute. In the future, the Lord of Toshan and the Thousand-Faced Demon Rong will recognize him as the boss. This feeling is really wonderful Kong Zan felt it in his heart, that's all. He turned around and led the two of them outside. It was dark, a gentle breeze blew. Rong Rong and Hong Hong felt a chill in their bodies. Kong Zan casually took three flashlights. He gave it to Rong Rong and Hong Hong, and took another one for himself. Just right, let's go. The three of them walked over like this. Hong Hong and Rong Rong still recognized the direction. Kong Zan planned to escort him. Dot I don't know how long it took. Arrive at a forest. It looked pitch black inside. Rong Rong grabbed the corner of Hong Hong's clothes and hid behind her. We're almost here after walking through this forest. Kong Zan looked at the two little fox demons behind him and asked. Yeah, boss. As long as you pass through this forest, it belongs to the inner territory of Toshan. This is the outer area of Toshan. Hong Hong nodded and after a moment of dullness, he added, but there may be things inside. There are some wild boars, wolves and so on. Looking at the dark woods, Hong Hong was also very wary. Let's go. It's okay, I'll protect you. It's still the same sentence. It was obviously said by a human, but it made these two little fox demons feel safe. That's all. A male human and two female fox demons entered the forest. Very dark indeed. But with a flashlight, I can see the road clearly. Dot and walked for a long time. The wind blew through the leaves. There is a rustling sound. Pairs of green lights appeared in the surrounding area. At first glance, they turned out to be the pupils of a wolf. Gulu. These wolves seem to have saliva dripping from the corners of their mouths. Grab my clothes and follow me closely, Kong Zan said. Hong Hong and Rong Rong immediately grabbed Kong Zan's clothes. But the wolves around them didn't care about them. He rushed over like a hungry wolf. Little did I know what kind of terrifying existence they faced. Dot fighting all the way. Oh no, it's torture. When walking out of the forest again. But the sky has already lit up. The sun rises from the east. Already showing the light of dawn, Kong Zan walked out of the forest with two little fox demons. Under the sunshine, the mess behind them, wolf carcasses strewn all over the ground. Blood was splashed everywhere. Grass, tree trunks, leaves, flowers, and even soaked into the soil, becoming nutrients for the vegetation. It's over. Looking at the city across the river, Kong Zan finally relaxed a little. Fight all the way over. There was no blood stain on the bodies of the three of them, but there were blood stains all the way. That's great. Sister, we can go back. Rong Rong looked at Hong Hong with a happy face. At this moment, Hong Hong moved her gaze to Kong Zan. Boss, are you leaving? Do you want to come to Toshan to play? Hong Hong's tone was expectant, and her ears were slightly perked nervously. Go as she calls it. Naturally, he left this world and returned to Kong Zan's original world. Next time. But it may not be so easy to meet the leader of a group. No, it's time to go. That's almost it. Kong Zan nodded lightly. He turned around and declined Hong Hong. After all, it's already dawn. So it's time for Mikasa to get up. I haven't even slept yet. What should I say? Let's catch up on some sleep first. Otherwise, kidney deficiency. Ba ba ba. It's impossible to have kidney deficiency. It's just a little sleepy. But that's not good is it so? The red ears and eyes fell together, feeling very disappointed. Dot. But then she felt a warm feeling on her forehead. The two ears suddenly stood up again. Wow. Rong Rong shouted and covered her eyes. But he still couldn't help but open his fingers and look. It was also the first time for her to see such a scene. Kong Zan kissed the red forehead. Kong Kong. Boss Kong Zan. Hong Hong's voice was trembling. Her panic could be seen in her eyes. It's so innocent. Kong Zan laughed. He touched her cheek. 
It was hot and already turned red. Xiao Hong Hong, I'll leave first. We can talk more in the group later. I'll play with you next time. Kong Zan said affectionately. Well, boss, remember to come and play. Hong Hong nodded seriously. Where is the aloof look in the group? Actually, it's not that cold. Just don't dare to speak. After all, the humans in this world, the Taoist priests who always catch fox demons, these little guys will definitely be wary. Yes, boss. Otherwise, Sister Hong Hong will definitely miss you. Rong Rong covered her mouth. She looked at her sister and Kong Zan with an inexplicable smile. They seem to be a good match. It would be nice if my sister grew up a little bit she thought. Wah dot what? That's not dot wrong. Rong Rong, you must be saying that because you like the boss. Well, boss, you dot you see that Rong Rong likes you very much. I must do it next time. Come and play early. Hong Hong was like a child whose secrets were exposed. I was immediately blown away. He said it quickly. But after he said it he regretted it a little. Doesn't this deny that you like the boss? She though you'd silently. Sister I haven't said you like her yet. Wrong wrong blushed immediately. It was impossible to say that she didn't like her at all. After all, this man is handsome, powerful, and super secure, which is really fascinating. Hey, what and what? Kong Zan held his forehead, somewhat speechless. Then he chuckled and continued. Anyway, two little guys. See you next time. He suddenly disappeared from the spot. Only two little fox demons were left with eyes full of reluctance. Chapter 106 Comics Reality Navy Headquarters Inside a professional naval hospital, Kizaru's whole body was bandaged. His eyes were closed tightly, his face still showed a painful expression, and his brows were frowned. What dot what is going on? Cyborg Kong looked at Lieutenant General Kizaru who fainted, feeling a little confused. How could this kid Porusalino be so seriously injured? Garp's eyes became serious. Porusalino who possesses the shining fruit, can be beaten like this, and the opponent's strength will definitely not be weak. Yes, Lieutenant General Kizaru not only lost an arm, but the organs in his stomach have been burned. What kind of mission is this? Lieutenant General Kizaru has never suffered such serious injuries. Even the one next to him has been burned. The military doctors were also filled with emotion. He dot can he still be saved? Garp gritted his teeth and asked anyway. After all, Kizaru was a promising lieutenant general and would have the opportunity to become a general in the future. Garp didn't want such a man to die here. There is a certain chance, but we need to use Vegapunk's technology to replace lieutenant general Kizaru's lost limbs and organs with machines. In this case, there is still a glimmer of hope. But this operation must be done quickly, otherwise Kizaru will it is difficult to guarantee the life of the lieutenant general. The military doctor said with a serious look. Understood. I will apply for the right to use Vegapunk's technology now. Cyborg Kong nodded seriously. Garp sat on a stool nearby and took out the Senpai. According to the Navy stationed in the Chambord Islands, this time the Navy dispatched from the headquarters. 500 elite soldiers were completely destroyed. Even Kizaru finally used the power of the Shining Fruit to escape to the Navy headquarters with all his strength before passing out. Kizaru went to the Forbidden Area of Death in Area 13. What kind of place is that? That a candidate for a future general can suffer such serious injuries? But now we can only find out when he wakes up. Dash, at this moment, Kong Zan has returned to the bedroom. He was alone in the bedroom. Aha, Kong Zan yawned. I'm really sleepy. Let's take a shower first. He walked out of the cabin. Mikasa has a chat group, so she naturally understands what Kong Zan is doing and doesn't care much. It's just that I'm not used to waking up alone in the morning. She is still practicing with Yamato and the others. And Kong Zan, he lazily entered the bathroom and put some hot water on it. He just took a simple bath. But he was a little sleepy and the water temperature was good, so he couldn't help but close his eyes. But he didn't just fall asleep, but looked at the group chat. Group chat. Can Ki Ken, so, is Toshan Hong Hong okay? Butterfly Ninja, brother Kongzen has passed away, so he must be fine. Sayata Kagi, let's just wait for the news. No Fumi Iwatani, since the boss is so powerful. He must be fine. Toshan Hong Hong, yes, the boss is so powerful. Butterfly Ninja, how about Hong Hong? Toshan Hong Hong, it's okay, it's just like what you said with the boss here. Nothing can happen. The first time Toshan Hong Hong came back, she was taking a bath with Rong Rong. Then I opened the group chat and took a look. Dakagi Saya, just say it. It's impossible for the boss to be okay. Toshan Hong Hong, that's right. The boss is really awesome. Just kill the Taoist priest when I was almost attacked. Toshan Hong Hong, I also took my sister and I back to Toshan. Along the way, those wild wolves pounced on us and were knocked away. Toshan Hong Hong, it's like a rebound protective shield. As long as these wild wolves can't get close to us. Toshan Hong Hong. Long live the boss, Butterfly Ninja. Wow, Hong Hong, you are so secretive today. Butterfly Ninja, are you obsessed with Brother Kong Zan? Mikasa, observing secretly. Buja Maseko, oh? Toshan Hong Hong, huh? Only. Not at all. Toshan Hong Hong suddenly blushed with embarrassment and quickly explained. Toshan Hong Hong, I, I just think Kong Zan is so awesome. As a human male, um. That's right, sister, your face is so red. 
Did you soak it for a long time? Rong Rong looked at Hong Hong in front of her curiously and asked. No, it's just dot it's nothing. Hong Hong shook her head quickly and hesitated. Totally do not understand. Why do I feel so nervous when I think of that man? Sayat Akagi, actually the boss is so powerful, it's normal to fall in love with him. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Butterfly Ninja, I also think that an omnipotent man like the boss is really attractive. Mano Shiho, the boss is indeed strong. Mano Shiho looked at the guardians in front of him. After spending a year together in the great tomb of Nazarick, she also understood the strength of these guys. Moreover, these guys are not human at all. No, there are no humans in the great tomb of Nazarick. These guys who look like humans are all alien species. I thought it was the boss who tamed these guys but it turned out from their mouths that it was the boss who created them. It's too outrageous. They are strong enough and invincible. The boss that's. How outrageous. Mano Shiho felt extremely emotional. Kong Zan, Kong Zan, you guys are still bragging. I am a strong hammer. Kong Zan, I feel that I am still far from being awesome now. Kong Zan is numb. When you don't have the strength to defeat the gods, you are just not strong enough. Not strong enough at all. Certainly, the gods he refers to are those who create the system. Only that kind of guy is qualified to be regarded as a god by him. Butterfly Ninja. Huh? Kanki Ken, boss, stop joking, you are not even great, how much more powerful do you have to be? Red Hitumi, are you still far away? What exactly is the powerful that Brother Nakong Zan is looking forward to? Sayat Akagi, it's hard to imagine. Sekobu Zujima, I'm also very curious, is it standing on a planet? I have recently read a few comics by Kong Zan, and the powerful ones in them can easily become stars. Bujima Seko, but those are just comics, right? Sayat Akagi comics. How could that possibly have anything to do with reality? Sayat Akagi, I already feel that the boss is very strong. He enters the apocalypse in an understatement. Every crisis among the group members can be easily solved. He is so powerful but is such a gentle personality. Mikasa, brother Kong Zan. The comics are indeed quite outrageous. Mikasa, I remember I saw a called a Saiyan. That race was very similar to brother Kong Zan. That Saiyan actually turned into the god of Saiyans, and then hairless cat god of destruction fight. Mikasa, the conflicting energy between the two people almost exploded the universe. Amazing. Butterfly Ninja. Outrageous. Butterfly Ninja. But this kind of situation is generally unlikely to happen in the real world. Kong Zan. No dot this exists. Chapter 107 set sail again. Kong Zan. No dot this exists. Kan Ki Ken. Exclamation mark. I what an ino fumi. Exclamation mark. Butterfly Ninja. Exclamation mark. Dak Ho Saya. Exclamation mark. Dot. Toshan Hong Hong. Is it so exaggerated? Mano Shiho, since the boss said it exists, then it should be so. Sayat Akagi, but it's really unimaginable. Sekobu Zujima, are all those comics real? Kong Zan, well, those are things from other worlds, but they are expressed in the form of comics. Kong Zan, there will be this kind of comics in all your worlds, but... After you met the chat group, it has completely changed. Kong Zan, in the comics, you will only look like you if you didn't meet the chat group. Sayat Akagi. Our future, on the comics. Dot isn't that just like a prophecy? Gao Cheng Sia's eyes were surprised. She never expected that this would happen. Mikasa colon the future. Brother Kong Zan, what was my original future? Mikasa asked curiously. Kong Zan colon you will kill the one you love. Mikasa colon what? Don't want. I dot I don't want this kind of future. Mikasa's heart trembled. I secretly thought, what if brother Kong Zan will be killed by me one day? How can it be? I don't want. There's no way this would happen. Kong Zan, ahem. This is the future without meeting me, after meeting me, naturally you won't let this happen, Mikasa, huh? Haven't you met brother Kong Zan? In that case, will I fall in love with someone else? Cut. Impossible, Mikasa murmured and thought, then decisively denied it the next second. Anyway, I don't know what it was like before, but it's absolutely impossible now. After thinking about it, Mikasa felt a lot more relieved. Kanki Ken, so awesome. I what an ino fumi, in other words, with the boss here. We can completely save our future. Sayat Akagi, speaking of boss, where did those comics come from? Kong Zan, it is the privilege of the group leader. Only I can access these things. Moreover, these comics may be being read by others in a certain world. Kong Zan was naturally referring to the blue star before he traveled through time. Kan Ki Ken, question mark being read by others? I what an ino fumi, oh what? So outrageous? Butterfly Ninja, isn't it? What happened to us? We were all seen by others. Dakagi Saya, what the hell? It's so perverted. Sayat Akagi. Isn't that peeping into privacy? Kong Zan, who knows, maybe our group chat is being watched by some being that we can't understand? Toshan Hong Hong, do you want it to be so scary? Toshan Hong Hong's back trembled. Isn't someone observing me when I take a shower? She hugged her chest and squatted down. What's wrong, sister? Rong Rong looked at her sister strangely. His eyes were a little unclear. No. Nothing. Rong Rong, let's sit down and wash. It's a little cold. With that, Hong Hong sat down. The water was just up to her neck, allowing her to breathe. Ah. 
Okay, Rong Rong also nodded obediently, sitting next to Hong Hong, Butterfly Ninja, according to Brother Kong Zin, it's really scary. Kanki Ken, what the hell? So is it possible that the comics I'm reading now are from someone else's world? Kong Zan, who knows? These are just guesses. Guess, Kong Zan. Don't worry too much, good guy. This little bit of imagination scares them. I what an ino fumi colon huh? Guess, it scared me to death. Butterfly Ninja, that's good, I almost believed it. After all. It's hard not to take what Brother Kong Zan said seriously. To Shine Hong Hong. Oh, that's scary. Seeing To Shine Hong Hong's frequent speeches today, Kong Zan was very satisfied. This little guy stopped diving. He didn't save her in vain. When Kong Zan saw these guys, he really wanted to laugh again. He washed it briefly, put on the laundry, walked out of the bathroom. Dot he walked outside to the grassy deck, looking at the red sun today. I can't help but sigh. The weather is nice today. Kong Zan walked forward, wearing a black shirt and black trousers today. Very simple style. Looking outside, the corpses of the previous marines had been disposed of, but it hasn't snowed since, so the traces of the previous snowdrift fight are still obvious. It's almost time to set sail, sunshine, Kong Zan said. But this time, where are we going? He leaned against the railing and thought for a moment. It is estimated that Hancock will not be able to become the Emperor of Daughters Island for another six years. Nami might be one year old now. Hey. Why did I travel so early in the timeline? Kong Zan couldn't help but sigh. Little Ling, he shouted. Master, I'm here. Xiao Ling appeared in front of Kong Zan instantly. Help me find an uninhabited island suitable for cultivation. Kong Zan said calmly. Next, focus on cultivation first. Let them accumulate more practical experience. Wait until the main story begins. That's when they really show their strength. After all, no one is born now. Kong Zan didn't know what to do for a while. So he let them practice first. Wouldn't it be nice to just buy a tablet from the point small and play games and read comics? Just thinking about it makes me happy. Kong Zan sighed silently in his heart. Positioning in progress. Positioning the uninhabited island in the North Sea. Positioning successful. Do you want to turn on the navigation mode? Xiao Ling said. Yes. Kong Zan responded naturally. Then he seemed to have thought of something and said. Oh, by the way, turn on airplane mode. Otherwise, it will be too slow. As soon as he finished speaking, Xiao Ling replied. Dot. Airplane mode activated, followed, shua, a huge voice sounded, the huge sunshine flew directly, the girls were caught off guard, brother Kongzin, are we leaving, Yamato suddenly shouted, yes, after staying here for a year, it's time to leave, Kongzan turned to face the girls and spoke, the breeze blew, and the dark hair was fluttering in the wind, as if bathing in the spring breeze, and a slight smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, I left suddenly, and I'm still a little bit reluctant to leave. Yuri also said softly. All the girls also walked towards Kongzan's side. As the sunshine takes off, the islands are also gradually getting smaller. And them. It is also getting further and further away from Area 13 of the Shampoo Islands. There's nothing to be reluctant about. By the way, we're going to be high this time. Kongzan said to them with a smile. Is it a brand new place again? Actually, I'm looking forward to it. Imagine it also showed a smile. You will be allowed to play for a few days when you arrive. But after you have played well, you will have to practice hard, you know? Kong Zan looked at the girls. Okay, chapter 108 part 2. Several days passed. They also arrived at this unknown island. This island is very strange. Half forest, half desert. There was no one, but there were many beasts. When the sunshine fell from the sky and docked on the other side of the forest, it was greeted by many beasts. Is this a saber tiger? Tyrannosaurus rex? And Seko's eyes were surprised. She recognized many of these beasts. They are all ancient creatures. Papa. Kong Zan clapped his hands to signal the girls not to be surprised, and then listened to himself. Go and practice your skills. You can eat some fresh game. Kong Zan grinned. Okay. The girls also shouted with great motivation. Everyone had an inspiring smile on their face. They were all excited. I don't know if I am excited about this battle. Still excited to eat these unknown delicacies. Maybe dot both. The reality is cruel. But, only for the enemy. Dot after a fierce battle, everyone started to eat barbecue. There was a strong smell of blood all around. But they didn't care. Toast it, add some cumin, and add some seasoning. Still smells good. There are dozens of corpses of ancient creatures around. It's so delicious. I wonder if it would taste better when skewered into a den. Yamato laughed happily, eating the meat with big mouthfuls. The corners of his mouth were stained with oil. I really miss it. The last time we had barbecue on an uninhabited island was like this. I didn't expect that it has been more than a year in a blink of an eye. Yari couldn't help but feel. Last time, that's when Robin joined them. It's getting stronger day by day. It's pretty good. Mikasa beside Yari said calmly. She also took a bite of the Tyrannosaurus leg meat in her hand. Evaluate the taste carefully. Mashiba. Mikasa muttered quietly. The meat of this huge guy is indeed very good. But as long as the heat and seasoning are right. It's actually not bad. Mikasa, eat this. At this time, 
Seko came over. She was holding the rope with one hand, and tied to the rope were several unconscious wild boars that she had dragged alive. The other hand came over with a skewer of grilled fish. This is no ordinary grilled fish either. Just this string is 50 centimeters long. This fish is quite big. Wow, thank you. Sister Seko. Mikasa's eyes lit up. She likes to eat fish very much. She has never seen the sea or eaten fish before. But after eating fish, she fell in love with the taste. Soft and plump flavor. I also caught some wild boars. The meat will not be so bad if you stew it into soup. Seko laughed. Wild boar. Sister Seko, leave it to me. Yari stood up first. After all, her fire element can be released at will. Okay, then it's up to you. Seko nodded lightly without any hesitation. Put down the rope in your hand. She also had a few skewers of grilled fish in her hand. I happened to see a herd of wild boars by the river, and ended up catching them together. I also prepared and grilled the fish and brought it over. The wild boar is more troublesome, and I plan to bring it back to get rid of it. Raftalia, Philo, you should eat some too. Fortunately, there are two more skewers of grilled fish. Seko looked at the two of them. Raftalia has grown up a lot without realizing it. But Philo is still as cute as ever. He handed the remaining two skewers of grilled fish to the two of them. Ah. Sister Seko, thank you. Raftalia took the grilled fish with a happy face. Okay, Philo likes Sister Seko the most. Philo said as he also took the grilled fish. Huh? Didn't Philo say that he likes his eldest brother the most? Maginot said jokingly. Hey, well, then I like Sister Seko secondly. Philo seemed to be struggling and pondering. Then he said it with a serious face. T.S.K. Kongzan is still as pleasing to you as ever. Xizi chuckled. Sister Seko. There is some ceratopsian meat here. It won't be too good. Try it. Kinda tore a piece of meat from the roasted ceratopsian on the other side. Okay, Seiko didn't refuse. Received the delicious meat of the ceratopsian. It looks pretty good. Thank you, Kana. She looked at Kana and smiled slightly. Then he took a bite of the piece of meat. Really? It won't be very good. It's nothing. Kana waved her hand nonchalantly. Mikasa, you can also try it. The meat of a horned dragon won't be that bad, Seko said to Mikasa who was not far away. Well, thank you. Sister Seko. Mikasa nodded her head in understanding. In fact, Seko has been very kind to her since she came here. On the one hand, it may be because they are all group members. On the other hand, Seko might feel some sympathy for Mikasa who lost her parents at a young age. She felt like she was regarded as her own daughter by Seko. The atmosphere is convivial. Robin was reading a book on the side, cutting off a piece and eating a little from time to time. She eats less. As for Li Shi and Aria, Kongzan asked the two of them to go to the desert to see the situation. See if there is anything to eat or something. Neither of them dared not listen. Moreover, their strength has also increased a lot during this period, and they can see if there are any opponents in the desert who can test themselves. As for Kongzan, his comic addiction has become a bit serious recently. Just look at it while holding the phone. The painting style is very inconsistent with this world. Why do you think he has a mobile phone? It must have been bought from the points mall. He felt that it was too troublesome to read them one by one, so he bought a mobile phone and scrolled down to read comics. As a modern and good young man with blue star, it is natural for him to learn to play with mobile phones. Even in another world, my mobile phone is still with me. This is the real modern young people. When Seko saw this scene, she silently felt that the painting style was extremely inconsistent, but she was not surprised. Although there is no internet in this world, she also knows that the point small has everything. Dot just like that, I simply played for a few days. Li Shi and Aria also caught a 10 meter large scorpion. But the meat is really tasty. Everyone also started to get on the right track with training. Group chat. Ding. Group member Butterfly Ninja was attacked, asking group members for help. Task difficulty. Intermediate. Task reward. 10,000 points. Number of people limited. One person. Which member accepts the task? Kongzan colon at Butterfly Ninja. How about it? Have you encountered Shanksiana? Butterfly Ninja. It's okay. I can handle it. Butterfly Ninja. Don't bother brother Kongzan for the time being. Kanki Ken. Is it the ghost I mentioned before? How does it compare to ghouls? No Fumi Iwatani. I'm also a little curious. How about a live broadcast at Butterfly Ninja? Butterfly Ninja. Live broadcast. That's okay. Butterfly Ninja also fumbled a bit and turned on the live broadcast. Chapter 109 Suzu. This is a village. It is already night now. What came into view was the petite body of the Butterfly Ninja. Blocking the way of a woman who was slightly taller than her. Sister. Please leave it to me. You are already injured. I can't let you die in front of me in vain. Shinobu said with firm eyes. I've been hiding my stupidity for so long. Is it finally time? Ninja. Let's go. You can't beat him. Listen to me. Let's go. Sister. I'll help you delay. Butterfly Kani grabbed the shoulder of Butterfly Ninja and said seriously. She didn't want her sister to die here. Don't worry, sister. It'll be okay. Butterfly Ninja's eyes were full of solemnity. Stop joking. The other party is. Second string. Tongmo. Shinobu. Just this time. Listen to my sister. Let's go. Butterfly Kani's eyes were full of worry. She doesn't even care about herself now. I just hope my sister can live well. She endured the pain of the wound, held the niche iron sword, and bravely stood in front of the Butterfly Ninja. Soon. 
you will be eaten by me, become one with me, then enjoy eternal life with me, shouldn't you feel honored? Tong Mo smiled, he looked at the two women without any sense of urgency, sister, leave it to me this time, butterfly ninja walked up to Kanye again, and the breath in his body was suddenly released, she doesn't hide anymore, the terrifying power burst out directly, and his eyes turned red, it is the eternal kaleidoscope, who, one sword Shura, in an instant, the butterfly ninja reached a terrifying state, to know, her one sword Shura has no side effects, boom, he jumped towards Tong Mo at a terrifying speed, flowers breath middle dot two type middle dot make it plum, swish, slashes were sent out from all directions, just like the trajectory or plum blossom petals, rush towards Tong Mo, arms, thighs, waist, neck, everywhere on Tong Mo's body spurted out blood instantly, this is where these four slashes successfully hit, then dot that's the breath of flowers, ninja dot how could it be, Kanye who was standing aside was extremely shocked, it's obvious that Shinobu's flower breath can be used freely, you must know that in the past, because Shinobu's strength was too weak, he could not use the breath of flowers at all. But why? Could Shinobu have been pretending? But why is this? Tong Mo showed sadness on his face. Why? I want you to live forever with me. But you attack me? It's really, it's so sad. The butterfly ninja curled his lips and said, Stop pretending, actually, you can't feel anything. In order not to expose my unwavering heart, I pretended to be happy and sad. What a funny guy. Kong Zan had given her paper information about Tong Mo before. She looked at it carefully. This kind of ghost is more than enough to die a hundred times. Hear this. Tong Mo showed an inexplicable smile, but the original wounds on his body had recovered. He looked at Shinobu and continued. It's really sad when you say that. Vampire art. White princess of cold light. Two giant ice lotuses in the form of girls suddenly emerged from the ground. Wah. Terrifying cold air and broken ice were blown over, Shinobu quickly blocked the cold wind with his hands, but she still said unkindly, I really don't know why an emotionless guy like you came to this world. At this moment, Tongamo took action, Shua, appeared in front of Shinobu in an instant, the fan was as sharp as a knife and slashed directly, Shinobu quickly blocked it with his niche iron sword, dang, if you remember correctly, Tongmo will freeze his own blood and make ice crystal powder and then spread it through a fan. After this kind of ice crystal is inhaled into the opponent's lungs, it can make it difficult for him to breathe, and then cause his alveoli to become necrotic. At this time, flower breath middle dot five types middle dot fruitless peony. Kani, who was standing aside, rushed over. Wah, a total of nine slashes struck Tong Mo from all directions. There was no way she could just watch her sister being beaten. Rather than this, she had to take action even if she was injured, and Tong Mo saw this. Block it with a fan again. Seeing that Tong Mo was about to fight back, Shinobu immediately burst out with another burst of power. With all your strength, one sword Shura, Shinobi gritted his teeth. She rushed straight through the cold air and appeared in front of Kani in an instant. Wow, cut off Tong Mo's arm with a knife. This knife, Tong Mo showed a surprised expression. Your opponent is me. Shinobu's red eyes rolled. Purple skeletons suddenly appeared all around, and then muscles, skin, and clothes grew, until he turned into a giant half-body samurai. This is Shinobu. What is this? Such a strong aura. Kani's eyes were filled with surprise. Is this still my sister? To be so powerful, sister. Please don't cherish your life so little. Don't show off when you're already injured. Shinobu spoke in a serious voice. Her eyes never left Tong Mo. Kani was a little stunned. Was he being trained by his sister? Seeing such a powerful Shinobi, Kani couldn't help but chuckle. That was a very gentle smile. I understand. Shinobu. Then please protect me. Kani said with a smile. Of course. A sword appeared in the hand of the purple giant. Wah, with a sound that tore the air. He slashed straight towards Tong Mo, and Tong Mo's heart is also shocked. Humans can use such power, even ghosts. No, no. Even winding. Can't touch this kind of power. What on earth is this human being hiding? Secret, vampire technique, Xuandong Icicle. Several sharp ice spikes in the air fell directly towards Shinobi Suzu. I saw Suzu swipe the sword in his hand, and all the ice spikes turned into broken ice. It's useless. There's really no way. The blood ghost technique. Wu Bing middle dot water lily bod isadver. After the words fell, Tong Mo created an extremely huge ice man, which looked like he was sitting in meditation with his hands together, like a bodhisattva, even taller than half-length Suzu. Kong Zan, who saw this scene through the live broadcast, felt a bit familiar. Why is it so similar to the scene between Hashirama and Madara? Top transformation Buddha versus Suzu. But, to be honest, this ice Buddha is still far from enough, compared to the thousand-armed wooden Buddha among the pillars. I saw the ice bodhisat for punching Suzu, but it was of no use. I saw Suzu slashing away with one sword. Wah, the suffocating sword cut off the ice bodhisat of his arm directly. Even a huge knife mark was cut on his chest. Chapter 110 K.I.A. Fist This, you are not a human being. Tong Mo looked at Shinobu with his eyes fixed. There was a deep questioning look in his eyes. The guy in front of me is definitely just wearing human skin. How could human beings have such terrifying power? I think I am. Shinobu said without hesitation, although she felt that she was really not human anymore before. 
because she was no longer as fragile as a human being. Ever since she drank Kong Zan's blood, she discovered that she had a ghost-like terrifying resilience. Dot she asked about Kong Zan once. Brother Kong Zin, am I really considered a human being now? My body. My strength, my resilience. I'm even a bit like a ghost, she said. But Kong Zan is very natural. There is nothing to doubt. Ghosts feed on humans. Can you do it? Ghosts have no feelings for humans and kill them wantonly. Can you do it? There is no doubt that you are human. It's just that. You are no longer an ordinary human being. You will be the top of the human race. And as a person of this type, there will inevitably be more things to carry. Kong Zan is this is the answer. Dot are you serious? How is it possible? Human beings can't have such power. Tong Mo looked at Shinobu. Total distrust. Whether you believe in ghosts or not. Dot what does it have to do with me? Shinobu curled his lips and raised the knife again. Her red eyes narrowed again, and she saw a terrifying black flame suddenly appear on a purple sword. The sword struck again and Tong Mo also controlled the huge ice bodies out of it to block it, but in front of Suzu. These ice cubes were undoubtedly like cutting into tofu. Not bad dot just tofu on the large side. Swish, 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 Suzu slashed with his sword several times. The ice bodies out of her was directly broken into several segments. It fell directly. There was a loud rumbling sound. See huge ice falling. Nearby villagers began to flee. Originally, they were curious about what was so big and watched from a short distance away. Unexpectedly, the ice body Zetva was chopped down directly. It's your turn, Tong Mo. I will never let you continue to eat people. Shinobu stared at Tong Mo with his pair of red eternal kaleidoscopes and spoke coldly. Seeing that all his special skills were wiped out, Tong Mo also lost his original calmness. I don't have time to play with you. Let's take the first step. After Tong Mo finished speaking, he directly made ten ice sculptures. This is an ice sculpture exactly like him. Then, he planned to leave. Hey, hey, hey. It's not that easy if you want to leave. Behind Tong Mo, a man suddenly appeared. He quickly jumped back to the right. How is it possible? I actually didn't notice it at all. Tong Mo looked at the man. At this moment, he felt unprecedented pressure. Brother Kong Zin. Ren's eyes shone as he looked at the man. Kani on the side looked a little weird. Kong Zin, big brother? This guy Ren. Since when did he recognize his eldest brother? You didn't tell me at all. Butterfly Kani looked at the man named Kong Zan hesitantly. She looked at Kong Zan and felt that there seemed to be an unusual aura around the man. Xin, you are playing too slowly. Kong Zan complained to Xin who was not far away. Hey, brother Kong Zin, you're here like this. Well, in that case, I'll be more serious. I'm used to hiding my stupidity. I don't want to use my full strength all at once. Shinobu chuckled. She lifted that huge purple Suzu. But such a plain and long tone surprised both Tongmo and Kani. That guy, Shinobu, is still hiding his clumsiness? I really can't recognize her. Is she really my sister? Kani was a little dazed, and then she remembered that she had just protected her, and she smiled inadvertently. He stood up. I'm so stupid. She is her. Butterfly Ninja. Dot my sister. There is no need to question this. As for Tongmo, he is also weird in his heart. As a human being, why does he have such strength and never show it? Impossible. The other party absolutely cannot be human, but not a ghost either. After all, it is too late for ghosts to eat humans, let alone protect humans. Then, let's start. Ha! Huh. Shinobu closed his eyes for a moment. It seems like he is feeling something. One sword surer. Ten times the Kia fist. Twenty times. Fifty times. Drink. The terrifying aura suddenly increased. A strong aura spread to the surroundings. This is a feeling that is incomprehensible yet chilling to the heart. Let Tong Mo become a little wary. Next, cut. Veins popped up all over Butterfly's body. If she were an ordinary person, she would definitely die from such pressure. But for her current resilience, this is just dot more than enough. She can actually be stronger, but the pressure she will bear will be greater. Wah, nothing fancy. In an instant, she appeared behind Tong Mo. Clang, and all ten ice sculptures shattered. Tong Mo's head was also chopped off instantly. Bang, his head fell to the ground, and his limbs were directly cut into several pieces. Tong Mo was still glaring at this moment, looking at Shinobu in disbelief. The slash just now dot when it happened. I couldn't tell clearly. Immediately afterwards, Shinobu's red pupils began to move again. Black flames burned on Tong Mo's head. Kong Zan raised his eyebrows. You can tolerate it. He actually knows how to last hit. He gave a silent thumbs up. He was very satisfied with Shinobu's last hit in behavior. It's not like the brainless characters in some anime who fail to hit the last hit every time. Ha! Huh. It's always over. Seeing Tong Mo's body gradually dissipating, Shinobu took a breath. Ren Dot are you not injured? He saw Tong Mo falling to the ground. Kani quickly dragged her injured body forward. His eyes looked at Shinobu with some worry. If it weren't for the powerful strength she showed just now, she wouldn't have been able to let Shinobu go up and fight with Shanxian. Although the results really shocked her. She was still worried about Shinobu's health. Shinobu quickly went up to help Kani who came over. Don't worry, sister. Are you okay? Shinobu looked at Kani's abdomen, which was cut open along with her clothes. No. It's okay. Although Kani said this, 
Cold sweat broke out on her body. Sister, could it be that I was poisoned by Tong Mo? Brother Kong Zan. Ren quickly looked at Kong Zan. He showed a look of help. Well, it should be. Tong Mo's blood is poisonous. He likes to freeze the blood into ice crystal powder during battles and then spread it with a fan. Not only will it cause alveolar necrosis if inhaled into the lungs, even if it passes if the fan enters the opponent's blood, it will be poisoned, Kong Zan explained. At the same time, he took out a bottle of blood from his pocket. He has now started to stock up, filling several bottles of his own blood. You can take it out when the time comes. This is it. Ren's eyes were startled. Dash. Chapter 111 Butterfly House Brother Kong Zin, thank you. Drink it quickly sister. This is good stuff. The wound will be cured by drinking it. The poison should be cured as well. Ren quickly took it. The blood in Kong Zan's hands. She didn't want to lose such a favor. She quickly handed it to Kani. Kani looked at the glass bottle in front of her with puzzled eyes. It seems like blood. But she took it anyway. She looked at the butterfly ninja. Shinobu nodded slightly to reassure Kani. Kani also knew that she had no choice now. She could only close her eyes and swallow it without tasting anything. At this moment, her body seemed to undergo great changes. The wound healed instantly. Kani looked at her abdomen in surprise, and in the blink of an eye, she completely recovered. This dot this kind of resilience. It's so amazing dot just like a ghost, she murmured. Then Shinobu let go of Kani. After all, as long as you drink it, you'll be fine. There is no need for her to continue to support him. Sister, we are not ghosts. Thanks to brother Kongs and being immortal, he is willing to share his blood with us. Our physical fitness, especially our resilience, has been greatly improved. This is a huge improvement. The gift. Shinobi looked at Kani seriously. Immortal body? Kani looked at Kong Zan, and suddenly felt a strange connection that was hard to describe. You look older than me. Then let me call you big brother, too? Kani looked at Kong Zan and showed a gentle smile. Easy to say. Kong Zan touched his chin. Anyway, many people have already called me big brother. One more and one less are almost the same. Then dot brother, would you like to come and sit in our butterfly house? Kani was the first to send the invitation. Huh? Brother Kong Zan, if you're busy. Ren was a little surprised at first but he didn't expect that his sister would ask brother Kongzin to come and sit at home. So bold, after all, it was just the first time the two met. But what she was more worried about was whether brother Kongzin had other things that delayed him. After all, she also knew that Kongzan was the captain of a pirate ship in another world. That must be very busy, right? No problem. Kongzan's answer surprised Ren. I just have nothing to do recently, so I can play with Xiao Ren. He smiled. And Ren also turned off the live broadcast at this time. Ah, really? Brother Kongzan, if that's the case, then stay a little longer. Seeing this, Shinobu became even more excited. Unexpectedly, Kong Zan, who has so many things to do, would be free. Seeing how excited her sister was, Kani was also a little surprised. It seems that the other person is a very important person. Ren is always serious, but he rarely shows this expression. This kind of surprised expression. Even she rarely sees. Okay, Kong Zan chuckled. He didn't have any objections. After all, they are all practicing in the pirate world. He doesn't need to do anything. Just read comics and new anime and become a salted fish king. Kong Zan simply collected the points in the group chat, saying that these 10,000 points were almost free of charge. Then another option will pop up as to whether to go back. The natural choice is number. Every time I go to other worlds, it seems that I don't go back immediately. I still want to go shopping first. Kong Zan walked up to the two women and rubbed their heads with his hands. By the way, this is the first time I've seen such lovely sisters. Let's go, you guys lead the way. He praised. Both women couldn't help but blush. Ahem. Kani coughed lightly, took off Kong Zan's hand that was rubbing her head, and then said, then let me lead the way. Her face was still slightly red, and she walked to the front. Lead the way for the two of them. Brother Kong Zan, you can try sister's tea later. Sister is also accomplished in the tea ceremony. Shinobi looked at Kong Zan and said with a lively expression. It's completely different from the serious look in the past. Oh, then I definitely want to try it. Kong Zan narrowed his eyes and smiled. Sister, Shinobi suddenly shouted. I understand. It's just a short walk to the butterfly house. I'll give you a dip then. Kani didn't refuse. After all, what's that to say no to? From the conversation just now, I learned that the abilities that my sister has now are probably given by Kong Zan. It would be better to deal with such a powerful person more often in the future. But, if only humans and ghosts could coexist peacefully, there wouldn't be so many disasters in the world. She thought silently. Dot after a few hours of traveling, we experienced another street market. Unknowingly, it was getting brighter. The three of them were also a little tired. But luckily, we finally arrived at the Butterfly House. The Butterfly House is a medical institution that provides a place for treatment and rehabilitation for injured team members. It can also be called a Butterfly House. Butterfly Kani is the owner of the Butterfly House. She is only 17 years old now. If you want to endure it, you are already 14 years old. After arriving at the Butterfly House, 
Ren took the lead in pulling Kong Zan in. There was a room inside for the three sisters. Kong Zan looked around. It was a very simple room. They should sleep on the floor. There was a small coffee table next to it, and there were no stools. That's right. People here usually sit on their knees or cross-legged. Shana was also sitting next to her at this time, and she just looked at the people brought by Shinobu. Brother Kong Zan, she is the Chan I mentioned before. Shinobu walked up to Chan Ao and patted her shoulder. Ah, it's so cute. Hello. Kong Zan also walked forward and looked at Shana Ao, but at this time, Shana looked a little nervous, feeling overwhelmed. Then she took out a coin. Throw it upward. Then, the coin also fell into her palm. Open the covered hand. It's the front. Hello. I'm Lahu Aluo Kan Ao. Kan Ao began to introduce herself and showed a smile. So cute. Kong Zan couldn't help but pinch her cheek. Wow, little Chanel is not bad either. Xi Aaron, you three sisters are so cute. Kong Zan couldn't help feeling impressed. Kanako is cute, and my sister is good looking. But how could I get along with cuteness? Shinobu muttered in a low voice, his cheeks also turning red. She didn't understand. Many people say that they look like a tomboy. So why are they called cute by Kong Zan? No, Ren has a good foundation and she will definitely become a great beauty in the future. Kong Zan turned to look at Ren and spoke affectionately. He held Shinobu's cheeks with both hands. I really didn't expect to be able to touch this familiar face it's just that it's not fully developed yet. The future butterfly ninja in the original book is too sassy, and his figure is not bad either. If it weren't for that damn child, forget it, at least in this world, we have to protect her. Although it is impossible to change the ending of every parallel world. At least this world will have an ending that satisfies me. Kong Zan thought so. Chapter 112 3000 Worlds Kong Zan sat on the tadami, with a small coffee table in front of him. Kani made a pot of tea and placed it here. Then he started teaching Chan Ao on a daily basis. And Ren was sitting opposite Kong Zan. Looking at the fight between the two women outside, to be honest, this kind of daily life is quite good. Very harmonious. What the hell? It would be best if there is none, right? Kong Zan sighed with emotion. But sister has always wanted humans and ghosts to coexist peacefully. Sister. He is too gentle. Shinobu sighed and looked at Kani outside. But Kong Zan looked at Ren. In the original work, because of Kani's death, she became the head of the butterfly house at the age of only 14 years old. Every day I suppress my anger towards ghosts and try to put a smile on my face. Such tolerance. Kong Zan didn't want to see him again. Forbearance. Kong Zan suddenly shouted. Hey, what's wrong? Brother Kong Zan. Shinobu turned his head. But he found that Kong Zan came over and sat down next to him. It's nothing. I just feel. I'm very happy to see you now. Looking at Shinobu next to him, Kong Zan smiled unconsciously for some reason. His hand unconsciously reached up and touched Shinobu's cheek. When he first read the manga of Pillar Destroyer Blade, he felt uncomfortable for a long time because of the death of the Butterfly Ninja. This was also a part of his past. You are very happy to see me, hey, then. That, Brother Kong Zin. Shinobi suddenly turned red. Brother Kong Zin, is this a confession? Why were there no warning signs? What should I say now? Uh, my head is so messed up. At this moment, her head was like a ball of mush, and her eyes were looking left and right. He looked very at a loss. I have to say, little ninja is really cute. Kong Zan pinched ninja's cheek. At this moment, Shinobu was as shy as a young girl. There is no tomboy look at all, and the butterfly ninja has always been dressed conservatively. If you marry her, she will definitely be a conservative and good wife. Well, Shinobu's cheeks were red. She nodded slightly. Then he lowered his head, his nervous palms sweating. She had never seen such a scene before. Okay, brother. Stop teasing me. Look at her blushing. Kani walked over with Kano on the side. As an older sister, I couldn't help but chuckle when I saw my younger sister Shinobu looking like this. After all, it's normal for Ren to fall in love with such a man, right? After all, even I have a good impression of him. But a man who endures cannot rob him. Kani thought silently in her heart. Shana on the side also looked at the two of them curiously. Sister, I dot I didn't. Shinobu quickly retorted. She picked up the tea in the cup on the table and drank it in one gulp. Want to cool down myself. Then he placed the empty cup on the table with a bang. Ha. Huh. Shinobu breathed. This is better. Ha ha. Ren is really young. Kong Zan also laughed. To be honest, I didn't expect the serious Shinobi to have such an expression. Kani narrowed her eyes, and she seemed very happy about this. What? Are you making fun of me? Ren's cheeks seemed to turn red with embarrassment. He stood up with a bang and walked out angrily. It's the first time I've seen her so shy. Kani didn't stop her, but sat down. Then I made another cup of tea. He took a little sip. Yes. Kong Zan also reached out and took his cup of tea across from him. Drink a little, slightly bitter, with a light fragrance. After all the bitterness, the sweetness comes and it enters the throat refreshingly. Not bad. After drinking it, I felt refreshed and my sleepiness was reduced a lot. Speaking of which, as an immortal, eldest brother should be very powerful, right? Kani asked curiously. Me? It's not that powerful, but... Here with you. It's still more than enough. Kong Zan touched his chin and thought. Ah? But the power of Shinobi is all given by you, 
right? Kani was a little confused. Part of it thought what's wrong? Kong Zan didn't seem to understand what Kani meant. She can only be considered as giving some strength to Rhinin, and some of it was bought by herself. Such a powerful power can be given to others at will. How can it not be considered powerful? Kani said again. Ha ha, forget it, let me tell you. After all, your knowledge is somewhat limited. In this world, I can strangle the ghost king Wuhan with one hand, but in other unknown places in this world, I am just an ant. Kong Zan shook his head lightly. Now, he can't even access that area, huh? Strangle the ghost king to death? Kani was shocked at first, but then became confused. Unknown world? Since it is an unknown world, how do you know that this kind of world really exists? There were question marks in her eyes, full of confusion. This world is far bigger than we think. Maybe you don't know. Let me tell you a secret. There is a power from the unknown in my body. That's it. Only this strength can make me so strong. Kong Zan said calmly. Strangle the ghost king to death. This is really not something that normal people can do. Your power still comes from the unknown. So is that unknown a human being, or the world? If it is the world, how many people are there in that world? At this moment, Kani felt that her CPU was about to burn out. Having said that, it is indeed a bit scary to think about it. Maybe I'm just an ant. And the ghost king Wook is just a microscopic creature under the ants. Kong Zan said in an understatement. Even though he has such power, he is in this unimaginably big world. He didn't feel that he was strong, but that he was too weak. That's what he's thinking now. This is really. After hearing the other party's description, Kanye's body trembled slightly. If this is really the case, what does he mean? If you are not as good as microscopic creatures, how insignificant you must be. There is a saying in Buddhism. I wonder if you have heard of it. Kong Zan raised the cup slightly and took another sip. Say, can he listen carefully? Even Shane Ao on the side listened with some curiosity. Three thousand rivers of sand, one sand and one world. This is the three thousand worlds, Kong Zan said loudly. This was his realization from his previous life. Of course, it's from the novel. It is also a conjecture. But he felt that this system was very similar to these worlds. Or, some similarities. Chapter 113 Eternal Life. Three thousand rivers of sand, one sand and one world. One sand and one world. Kenny murmured, feeling a little outrageous. How can it be? One sand, one world or something. This is just a metaphor at most, right? But if you drag it into reality, it's hard to imagine. This is an extremely exaggerated statement. Perhaps that's what it says. Our world is as small as gravel. Kong Zan sighed softly. He is very wary of unknown things. Be wary though. But that doesn't stop him from gaining power through the system. After all, if he didn't use the system, he would have died long ago. I don't know if I can continue to live when I get close to the truth. He doesn't think he is very strong. But in this kind of world, it can still be easily contended. If the world is really that big, I just hope that our grain of sand can be safe and sound. Not eroded, not destroyed. Kani sighed softly. She also has no ability to control all the sand. She only has her own world, and hopes to live a better life. Ha ha, with your strength, that's enough. Well, let me help you again. Kong Zan opened the system. Kani has become a blood relative, so naturally she can gain an ability within 3000 points. Help, how to help? Kani was a little curious. Wait a moment, Kong Zan said. He was still rummaging through the points mall, thinking about what would be better for Kani. Suddenly he saw something nice. No side effects the magic eye of death. Introduction, it can be opened and closed at will. It is a causal weapon that can see the dead center and dead line. If it is cut along the line, it will cause indefensible and incurable damage to the object. This is simply a ghost killing artifact, Kong Zan murmured. Without saying a word, he chose this. A mysterious power filled Kani's mind. This dot this is. Kani was extremely shocked. With this kind of power, she felt that all she had to do was take advantage of Tong Mo's lack of attention. He can also kill Tong Mo alone in an instant. This kind of causal weapon is really outrageous. It is truly the natural enemy of immortality. Unexpectedly, Kong Zan, as an immortal, would actually give her such terrifying power. The power that can kill everything. The evil eye of death. She was even a little sluggish. Why are you dazed? Kong Zan asked. Kani has been in a daze since just now. I don't know what I'm thinking. No. It's okay. By the way. This power was really given to me like this? Kani asked hesitantly. Yes. Otherwise, Kong Zan waved his hand indifferently. You. You are so good. From today on, you will be my big brother to butterfly Kani for life. Kani looked touched with a look on her face. With these eyes, not only her own strength promote. And I can also have the strength to protect the people I want to protect. Her eyes seemed to be shining with golden light as she looked at Kong Zan. In front of Kong Zan, he was just like a child. Chanel next to her was confused and confused. Let me tell you, why are you as cute as Shinobu? Kong Zan laughed, pinched Kani's face, and continued, a little favor will make you excited. This scene made Kani stupid again. She looked on, stunned. Well, I'm not a child. Stop it. Kani's cheeks also turned red. PFFT, aren't you the same as Shinobu? Speaking of which, Chana is her adopted sister, right? She looks quite similar. Oh my, this place is really nice. Kong Zan let go of his hand, lying directly on the tatami. A look of comfort on his face. Kani took a breath, 
showed a soft smile, and continued, Brother Kongzen can stay a few more days if he wants. How many more days? I have something to do, and I'm usually not here. If you stay here for such a long time, you can leave after staying here for a while at most. I'm going to stay here today, so I'm making an exception. Kongzan turned his head and looked at Kani and said, That's it. No wonder Shinobu was so surprised. Kani nodded understandingly. By the way dot how did you and Ren meet? She asked Kongzan curiously. The gossip started. How do we know each other? Secret. Kongzan glanced at Chana Hui, then looked at the ceiling, and said lightly. Hey, Kani looked regretful. Kongzan looked at the white ceiling, but he was a little dull, and then asked, Xian Hui, if you die so easily, you will always have regrets. He was a little curious. If Kani died like in the original work, what regrets would she have? Kani looked at Kongzan with some confusion, and then said with her own understanding, actually, for me, if I can live a long life and die normally, then there will be no regrets. Kong Zan laughed. Ha ha. Grow old together, death. How many years do you think it is? He asked. Seventy years, right? But I'm already seventeen years old. That means there are still more than fifty years. She murmured and started to count. I won't die so early, Kong Zan said softly. But the distance between the two was not far enough for Kani to hear. Huh? Kani Huey didn't understand what Kong Zan meant. Drink my blood. You. Don't die so easily, at least in this world. With this kind of power, you will stand at a higher level, Kong Zan said calmly. Dot. Then, sit up. The tea in his cup was almost empty, so he picked up the teapot, added some more. Hey, Kenny originally just wanted to live a good life until old age. I didn't expect Kong Zan to say such a thing. Her eyes widened and she covered her mouth. Although she felt the changes in her body, she didn't expect it to be so outrageous. Really Dot are you kidding me? She said in disbelief. That's what I thought. The other party is immortal, drinking this blood will increase your own lifespan, right? She thought, and then asked, how long can I live, huh? A long time, as long as no one can kill you, you can always live. Kong Zan touched his chin, said directly, Gulu. This situation simply made Kani unbelievable. So Shinobu is the same as him? Can I stay with Shinobu forever? Live for a long, long time. Seriously. This life may be like a dream, right? She obviously just wanted to live a good life. I didn't expect that she could still be like this. Can you live forever just by drinking some blood? She murmured. He looked at Kong Zan with even more respect. But I thought about the people around me. They might all die one by one, which made her suddenly feel a little lost. For example, the Chanel next to it. Then, brother, how did you become immortal? That's amazing. Kani asked curiously again. Dash. Chapter 114 My heart is beating very fast. You're not my wife yet. Why do you keep asking some private questions? Kong Zan raised his eyebrows and looked at Kani. Hey, ahem, maybe there is some privacy. Then I won't ask. Kani blushed. Is it a secret that only a wife or something can know? It seemed like this secret was important. She was a little curious. But at this moment, I can only hold back my curiosity. I'm also curious about some questions. Kong Zan turned his head and looked into Kani's eyes. Please tell me. Kani knelt down in front of Kong Zan seriously. Kong Zan, on the other hand, was sitting cross-legged. Suddenly, Kong Zan came closer, very close, getting closer. Hey, looking at Kong Zan who was so close, Kani's cheeks turned red. The heartbeat also continued to accelerate. Thump, thump. Kong Zan stretched out his hands and hugged Kani. His hand reached up and held her head. Kani, on the other hand, was a little dumbfounded, her heart beating faster. She really didn't expect that the other party would hug her all of a sudden. You dance very fast, Xian Hui. Do you like me? Kong Zan opened his mouth and asked softly. This dot this kind of question? Kani was a little at a loss. She felt the heat in her ears and felt mixed feelings in her heart. I have a crush on him. But I can't compete with Shinobu for a man. Shinobu also likes him. No, no, you're probably overthinking it. Kani shook her head quickly. He quickly refused, but felt extremely nervous inside. The rosiness on his face has not faded away at all. But, the body's reaction is different from what you said, right? Kong Zan bit her rear lightly then raised the corner of his mouth, look, the heartbeat is faster, Kani put her hands on her chest, thinking calm your heartbeat, but what's the use, thump, thump, his heart was still beating, she didn't understand what was wrong with her, do you really like the other person that much, it was really jumping so hard, it felt like it was going to explode, I don't understand, Kani lowered her head, but you should be able to see that Shinobu also likes you very much, so I can't, she opened the door and spoke, actually, I also like you too very much. Why not? Kong Zan leaned forward and placed his hand on Kani's head. Kani's body softened and she fell down. The hand placed on the back of her head was also to protect her from being hit. Then Kong Zan followed the trend, looking at Kani underneath her, and Kani also felt Kong Zan's considerate actions, and when she looked at Kong Zan, she was a little at a loss. My heart is like a deer bumping around. Kani is still here, don't mess around. Kani turned her head and said softly, although she knew that Shane R. U. wouldn't say anything when she saw it, it must be bad. T.S.K. Look, you really still want something to happen, right? Kong Zan suddenly laughed. Hey, no. 
No, Kani denied repeatedly, and she suddenly felt that what she said was inappropriate. But at this moment, Kong Zan kissed him directly, lips touching. Kani's eyes widened, her whole body felt like it was going to explode. The blush on her cheeks has reached the routes of her ears. Then, the lips separate. First dot first kiss. Kani's A's were a little confused. The look in her eyes at Kong Zan became even more complicated. Ah, delicious. Kong Zan looked relaxed. He turned over and lay on the tatami, while grabbing Kani's hand. Look how nervous you are. Your palms are sweaty. Kong Zan narrowed his eyes. Ahem. Kani sat up and looked at Kanu. At this moment, Shaina's cheeks were a little red, and she looked at the two of them like this. Can I go and check the order on the injured side for me. I still have something to tell him. Kani said to her. Shayna nodded quickly. She was so nervous that she was covered in sweat and left in a hurry. Apparently I feel like I'm a light bulb. HMPH. You are too bad. You just teased the walking ninja before, and now you are attacking me. Kani said pretending to be angry. Don't you like it too? Kong Zan chuckled, sat up, and stretched. Then, he looked at Kani. If you didn't like it, wouldn't you have pushed me away just now? He continued, HMPH. Kani crossed her chest and turned her head away. She didn't know why, she had no intention of resisting at all. On the contrary, I was very nervous, even looking forward to it. I didn't understand it at all. Just like what Kong Zan said, I was not disgusted. But I always felt that someone I had known for only a few hours was acting so intimately all of a sudden. Is this move too hasty? If this progress continues, we will have children in two years. Thinking of this. Kani's cheeks turned red again. She cupped her cheek. Uncontrollable random thoughts in my head. Shinobu obviously liked it too, but he also fell in love with it. She felt helpless. Okay, stop thinking about it. Seeing Kani's appearance, Kong Zan sighed. Then he casually took out a mobile phone and read comics. Hey, what is this? Kani, who was still a little depressed, became interested again when she saw the smartphone in Kong Zan's hand. Do you want it? Let me give you one to play with. Kong Zan casually bought another one from the point small and handed it to Kani. Also included is a paper instruction manual. This is. Kani looked at the instruction manual and began to fiddle with it. As for Kong Zan, just reading electronic novels on the side. Dot time flies by and it's dusk before you know it. And Ren came back at noon. After all, you have to eat. Kani also called Kanu over to eat together and after the meal the two planned to check on the condition of the wounded. After all, Butterfly House also has a mission. Treat the wounded, as the owner of Butterfly House, she had to at least go and see it. Xin, by the way, you don't have to hide your clumsiness anymore. After all, Woom already knows how powerful you are. Kong Zan suddenly turned to look at Xin. Huh? Ghost King Yumai? How did he know? Shinobu was a little confused. The Ghost King Wuhan can read the memories of all ghosts. When you are dueling with Shang Xina, he knew it. Kong Zan explained. What? Ghost King Muzan's ability is really abnormal. Shinobi gritted his teeth and murmured. Otherwise, how could he be called the Ghost King? Kong Zan rolled his eyes. Chapter 115 Two years later, the fourth team. At night, Kani Eda O made a floor bunk. Usually there are three, but there is an extra one named Kong Zan. But Kong Zan just slept for a while. He left the next day. After waking up in the morning, he was gone. After all, he just came here to have fun. He couldn't be here all the time. Seeing this, Shinobu and Kani were still a little disappointed. I didn't expect the other party to leave so quickly. Sister, I don't know when brother Kongzin will come next time. Shinobu said with some reluctance, looking at Kani. It's okay, as long as you live, you can always see him. Kani comforted Shinobu. Dash, Kongzan is back. They are also practicing as always. Just practice some of the most basic things. Dot time passes quickly. Two more years have passed. In the bedroom. Mikasa, I'll leave it to you. No. I'm giving you a task for the third division. Kong Zan looked at Mikasa and spoke abruptly. Huh? Brother Kong Zan, tell me. Mikasa looked at Kong Zan, a little curious. I don't know what tasks Kong Zan will give me this time. The mission this time is in your world. The purpose is to rule the world. By the way, bring three people here for me. Kong Zan looked at Mikasa and said, Rule the world. Three people? Brother Kong Zan, tell me. Mikasa was slightly surprised. But she and the group already knew that Kong Zan had begun to rule other worlds. I just didn't expect that I would be assigned such a task. Anna, Christa, Sasha. You can find a way to sneak into the 104th training group first. If possible, kill Alan without ruining the plan. Kong Zan said directly. Alan? I understand, brother Kong Zan. I will kill him if I have the chance. Mikasa silently wrote down the name. That's enough. Just bring the third team there. Anyway, you didn't show your face last time. It shouldn't be difficult to lurk in. Kong Zan waved his hand slightly and signaled. Yeah, Mikasa nodded vigorously. She went out. By the way, the team has undergone some changes in the past two years. There is an extra fourth division. Because Chitong's side was almost complete, Neji Ixiton asked Kong Zan to pick a few people to help. And he naturally selected some and directly formed the fourth team. The captain of the fourth division is aka Haitumi, and the members are Kuryun, Mayan, Lenai, and Seal. The third team also has new members, 
Chelsea and Selyu, the same goes for the second team, with Estith and Selyu added. Only the first team remained unchanged. Because of this, Yamato yelled to himself several times, saying, When will the first team be able to add new members? He shouted Brother Kong Zan, Brother Kong Zan every day. Kong Zan was speechless. This time I plan to recruit some people to expand the first team. When he walks out, everyone from the third team has already set off. Mikasa brought everyone from Division 3 to the giant world. Chitong, Kong Zan shouted to Chitong not far away. These new people, all of them have been fed with their own blood. In this case, he would not die so easily. Just finished shouting. Kai Tong instantly appeared in front of Kong Zan. What's wrong? Brother Kong Zan, she asked with some confusion. Still the same familiar outfit. Report on the recent progress. Kong Zan asked. We have all completed the study of the primary weapon color and the knowledge color. We have gradually understood the threshold of the intermediate level. Chitong said. Not bad. By the way, what did Neji Ixitan say? You should have a phone number to contact her directly, right? Kong Zan asked. Because she bought a communication phone for Neji Ixitan before she came here. So they are completely contactable. The empire has been unified a long time ago. And now the boss is really trying to find ways to improve the overall economic conditions. Thanks to the suggestions brought up by Brother Kongzin. Getting rich for all, reading for all. Various suggestions have made today's situation the Empire is very prosperous. Although there are some villains who will still attack from the dark. But the boss is different from the past. I still remember that the boss was covered with the Lion King's battle axe and golden armor. With my whole body, I can directly pick up the supreme imperial equipment that is a hundred meters high. It is so strong. Kai Tong felt extremely emotional when he thought of that scene. That scene has been recorded in the history of the Imperial Capital. That's good. Kong Zan chuckled, very satisfied with this. Basically there is no problem. He also asked Mano Shiho about it, and he had already ruled the entire planet half a year ago, unexpectedly fast. The kid Khan Ki Ken seems to be a bit different from the original work, and various events are not included. Anyway. The conflict between humans and ghouls is quite serious. Sayata Kagi has also gone overseas a long time ago to help clean up zombies in outside areas and cooperate with various countries. She is already the boss of a gang that specializes in killing zombies. No Fumi Iwatani, that guy is so cool. He leads the slave army to do everything alone, and he is almost invincible in another world. The shield hero's invincible journey. Hinata Hinata also learned to fight back under the guidance of the group members. When someone hits or scolds her, she will fight back decisively now. Kong Zan was still very satisfied with this. Tolerance is the same as always. It's just what she says sometimes. Can you misses herself? Let yourself go and play quickly. No matter how you look at it, it's all her own thinking, right? So speechless. Hong Hong and Rong Rong were as usual, basically fine. After all, fox demons have a long lifespan, and if they only live for more than ten or several decades, they should be fine. Every time Butterfly Ninja asked her to come over to play, Hong Hong would also say something like, Boss. You can come to my place to play, my environment is great. That's right, Brother Kong Zan. Do you want to eat sand scorpions? Our fourth team is going to the desert for hunting at noon. Chitong looked at Kong Zan and asked, Sand scorpion? Okay. Kong Zan nodded lightly, thinking it was okay. After all, I haven't had this for a long time. Moreover, the sand scorpions in this desert are several meters long at least, and they are very full. The big ones are even more than 10 meters, although the outer shell is hard. The meat inside is very good. Then I'll tell them to set off. Chitong suddenly laughed, with a trace of rosy color on his face. Because she is living a really happy life now. His sister Hei Tong was also there, and his teammates at the time were not dead either. She had lost almost nothing since Kong Zan's arrival. So, at this moment, she really felt very happy. Dot the revolution was successful. The little emperor was beheaded. Because Neji Ixitan strongly insisted on keeping Hei Tong, Hei Tong did not die. Otherwise he would have been beheaded. Later, Hei Tong was locked in a dungeon. Chitong often visits her. Due to long-term drug abuse, her lifespan was drastically reduced and she almost died. At that time, Chitong asked him to save her. Later, Hei Tong was surprised to find that he was not dead. Kong Zan told her then, Hei Tong of the Imperial Capital is dead. Next, you are Chitong's sister. Hei Tong, that's all. Chapter 116 Naval Meeting. Hei Tong of the Imperial Capital is dead. Next, you are Red Tong's sister. Hei Tong, that's all. Just two simple sentences but it made Hei Tong open his heart, crying again and again. Why didn't she want to be the sister of Kai Tong in the past? The two girls grew up together, and their friendship was unquestionable. It was only later that Chitong saw the darkness of the imperial capital again and again because of various things, so he listened to the boss and went to the revolutionary army. The two also reconciled. When the revolution was over, Nei Chitin did get the top leadership of the revolutionary army, but some things still required them to vote. About another year later, Neji Ixitan single-handedly made everyone rich gained the love of the masses, and was elected as the national leader, fully possessing the highest power. Kong Zan looked at Kai Tong and reminded him, come back before dinner, 
don't be too late, otherwise I have to go find you. Kai Tong felt even sweeter when she heard that Kong Zan cared about her. She was so sweet that she narrowed her eyes and smiled, Brother Kong Zin, thank you, I won't be back very late. This kind of life is simply paradise for her, such a harmonious and peaceful life. Then, Shitong turned around and summoned the fourth team. Thank you for what? Kong Zan raised his eyebrows, dash, naval headquarters, conference office. Kong Zan, beat the Tenryu people into a vegetative state two years ago and they still haven't woken up yet. Also, his subordinates Yamato, Neri, and Mikasa, and the three general candidates, Lieutenant General Kizaru, had an arm broken and his internal organs were damaged. The six internal organs were burned to the ground. In the end, all the internal organs and arms were equipped with machines, so they could save their lives. According to the news, they call themselves the Dragon Slayer Pirates, which is nothing more than fighting against the world government. Cyborg Kong looked serious. Looking at the admirals, lieutenant generals, etc. in front of them. And everyone below is also very serious. Ahem. Then Cyborg Kong put several reward orders on the table with a snap. These are the bounty orders from two years ago. Kong Zan, bounty of 1 billion, unknown ability. Yamato, 600 million, possesses ice devil fruit abilities. Yeri, 600 million, possesses fire devil fruit fruit ability. Mikasa, 700 million, has the shadow type devil fruit ability and can control shadows. Kamidai Rise, 50 million, ghoul, a race that feeds on humans. Nico Robin, 80 million. Ahara's remnant. Unknown name. Purple long-haired girl. Tentatively estimated at 50 million. Possesses powerful swordsmanship. Maybe a powerful swordsman. Unknown name. Yellow short-haired girl. 60 million. According to the captured the pirate said that she has the power to become stronger instantly. And the weapon is a huge axe. Unknown name. Brown-haired girl with barriers. 300 million. The same said by the captured pirate. She has abilities similar to the shining fruit. Unknown name. Black long-haired girl, 100 million, holding something similar to a staff. According to the remaining pirates, magic can be cast through the staff. Suspected to be some kind of devil fruit. Finally, it's a girl named Maginet. Garp, didn't you report that she was a kidnapped girl before? Why did she join the Dragon Slayer pirates? Cyborg Kong suddenly looked at Garp and shouted. She was indeed kidnapped under my nose. But I really didn't expect that Maginet was actually a pirate. Garp lowered his head. This time it was indeed his mistake. If you think about it carefully, no wonder the other party was so confident at that time. It turned out to be a show. Anyway, this is Maginet from Windmill Village. She was originally a bartender. At the bar, according to the information given by the pirate remnants, her physical skills are very powerful and she can also use the sixth form of the navy in our navy. Sora then added looking at Garp, he was from the same village as Garp after all. Garp was a practitioner of physical arts, and the other party also knew the sixth form of the navy. It's hard not to connect to the two. Maybe it was Garp who secretly handed over the sixth form of the navy to her, it was also possible. But the navy also wants evidence. This is just a guess. But Garp was completely confused. When did Maginet become so powerful? He had been to Maginet's tavern and drank several times. But wasn't she just a weak girl? How could it be so outrageous? Can you even master the sixth form of the navy? In short, you have also seen what Lieutenant General Kizaru looks like now. As he spoke, Sora looked at a man sitting there. It was Kizaru. At this moment, his left hand is equipped with a heavy mechanical arm, and a bull-like mechanical body on his abdomen maintains the normal operation of the internal organs. Very funny. That bastard Mikasa is really amazing. Kizaru no longer used the obscene tone, but his face was full of seriousness. Lieutenant General Kizaru. Please tell me about the situation at that time. Cyborg Kong also had a heavy look on his face. At that time, the three girls, Yamato, Neri, and Mikasa, don't look big. It's my fault for underestimating the enemy. The one named Mikasa can actually control my body by fixing the shadow. Even elementalization cannot be used. As we all know, there cannot be two identical fruits in the world. And the owner of the shadow fruit is Moonlight Moria. Mikasa has I can't find the devil fruit even in the devil fruit illustrated book. What Kizaru said with a gloomy face shocked all the marines. How is it possible? Is it an unknown devil fruit? Elementalization cannot be used. How can there be such a devil fruit? It is simply a natural type 1. Dot. Everyone kept discussing like this. Stand up. Also, Lieutenant General Garp mentioned before that Yamato's ability is freezing. At first, I suspected it was some kind of fantasy beast type ability. But now it seems that it is not that simple. Kizaru looked at it twice. Looking at many marines, their expressions were full of seriousness. What method did they dot use? Let two people with the same ability exist in this world. Marshal Kong. I think this issue is something our navy must understand. Kizaru looked extremely solemn. Well, what Lieutenant General Kizaru said makes sense. But there seems to be no news at all in the past two years read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. There is another thing. Have you heard about Kaido's search for his son, right? Cyborg Kong looked at everyone in front of him again and asked. I have also heard about this matter. Najin actually caused trouble in Windmill Village at that time. Fortunately, nothing was done, 
Otherwise I would definitely have to settle the score with Kaido. Gup gritted his teeth and said fiercely, Well, maybe because they know it's your hometown, they don't dare to do anything. The anger of a naval hero also needs to be weighed by the four emperors. Cyborg Kong nodded lightly, and then continued to speak. Colon but they are not so friendly to other places. Chapter 117 Banquet On other islands in the East China Sea, Kaido has launched a strong carpet search in various places. Even Rotown is the same. It is true that they are afraid of our Lieutenant General Gup. After all, naval heroes are not in vain. Called. And our Vice Admiral Gup has also fought with Kaido in the past. Maybe Kaido understands the strength of Vice Admiral Gup. But. They don't take our navy seriously at all. They are constantly forcibly searching various islands just to find Kaido's so-called son. They don't take our world government seriously at all. Cyborg Kong was a little angry then turned to look at Garp and said, Lieutenant General Garp, since Kaido has given you such honor, I would like to ask you to come, is that okay? I believe you will repel them for your own justice. Garp also looked heavy, and he faintly I felt it, it seemed that Sora had some distrust of him, whether it was the matter of Maginot or Jin's destruction of the windmill village, as if he had some connection with the pirates, and the last sentence was like warning him not to forget the justice in his heart. Food for thought, don't worry. Marshal Kong. Of course I will go all out. Garp clenched his fists and spoke loudly. Well. In that case, send troops immediately. Dash, New World, Wano Country, Ghost Island. Three years. My son. I can't find you anywhere. You bastard Kong Zan. You actually kidnapped my dear son and became a pirate. What a bastard. Kaido drank wine, looking at the wanted posters in front of him. A look of grief and anger. Jin hasn't found Yamato yet? Kaido looked at his younger brother and asked. Mr. Kaido. We have been searching the East China Sea for two years. There is not even a trace. Just after the Dragon Slayer pirates crippled the Celestial Dragons, they disappeared. The younger brother said with a respectful look. There is also some helplessness. Woo! <laughs> Three years. Three years have passed. I didn't expect that my son would now go to another pirate group. Do you still want to go against me, bastard? It's better to just let him die. Kaido was crying and angry. Take a swig of wine. Mr. Kaido's, but for more information, we went to explore the forbidden area of death. The ground is made up of pirate bones, with heads hanging everywhere. There are hundreds of millions of pirates among them. I think so. Their strength is not too weak. The younger brother analyzed. Huh? You mean? He will become our enemy? Hey, I'm the four emperors. Isn't that kid just better at recovering? I can catch him once. You can catch him countless times. The next time it won't be as simple as two and a half years. Kaido shouted angrily. Mr. Kaido's, calm down. Indeed, the other party is no match for you. But don't let it go like this. Otherwise, the longer Yamato stays with them, the harder it will be to get out of the bondage. That little brother he said quickly. You dot what you said makes sense. Increase the troops. Search all over the world. Kaido immediately gave the order. Yes, Mr. Kaido. Dash, evening. There is a banquet going on here in Kongzaan. Chitong and the others brought back several huge sand scorpions. They couldn't finish them all. They couldn't finish them all. Sure enough, for pirates and other things. Having a party is the happiest thing. Drinking juice. Look at that Yamato. You can get drunk even if you drink juice. When I was a kid, I really couldn't drink well. How'd Air Kong Zan give them drinks? One day I got drunk and was abducted without even knowing it. Group chat. Kong Zan. Picture. Pirates having a happy party. Kanki Ken. Wow wow wow. What a big scorpion. I what an Inofumi. It looks delicious. Butterfly Ninja. There is such a creature. Such a big scorpion. Toshan Hong Hong. It's a bit disgusting. Mano Shiho. It's okay. It's food anyway. Sayadakagi, I saw Sister Seko! Exclamation mark. Sayadakagi suddenly felt happy when she saw Seko in the picture posted by Kong Zan. The two of them had actually not seen each other for three years, so they were considered old friends. Bujima Seko, eating sand scorpion meat. This is really delicious. Sayadakagi, I'm so envious that you can have so much fun with the boss. Butterfly Ninja, Envy. Toshan Hong Hong, Envy plus one. Mano Shiho, Envy plus two. Dot. Kong Zan, what is the two Envy? Kong Zan. When we finish baking it, will we give you some to dry? I what an inofumi, long live the boss. Can't he can colon really? Very good. Just looking at it makes me drool. Butterfly ninja, yeah. I want to give it to my sister and Chanel. Sayadak Hagi, as expected of the boss. I'll ask Runches you could to eat together later. Toshan Hong Hong, is it really delicious? Then let me give it a dry. Toshan Hong Hong looked at the huge head of the scorpion and felt so scary. Didn't you expect that the group members were so courageous? Even scorpions are eaten. Kong Zan, don't worry. Add the seasonings, it will be delicious. Kong Zan, at, how are you doing there? Mikasa, don't worry, brother Kong Zin, all of us have entered the 104th training group. Mikasa, they are all simple trainings, and they are nothing but time consuming. Mikasa, brother Kong Zin, just wait for my good news. Seeing this, Kong Zan also smiled slightly. Sure enough, Mikasa is really reliable. Kong Zan, okay, 
then I'll wait for your good news. Then, Kong Zan didn't say much and closed the group chat. Seko sat next to Kong Zan, holding a big plate in his hand. It's all filled with picked scorpion meat. It looks very delicious. Kong Zan, put some cumin powder you like. Xizi narrowed his eyes and said, it smells very good. Kong Zan smiled. The distinct meat looks very plump and delicious. Now, these are chopsticks, Seko said taking out a pair of disposable chopsticks. I probably bought a lot with points and put them in the private points warehouse of the group chat. Then he tasted it. It tastes good. They should also like it. Kong Zan nodded lightly. Then let me go over and cut some for them to try, said Seiko. She naturally knew that Kong Zan was referring to the group members. Okay, please, Xiang Tsai. Kong Zan laughed and nodded. It's nothing. It's just my duty. Sek also narrowed her eyes happily. Then, she turned around and began to deal with the sand scorpions. Kong Zan said silently, He is really virtuous. Chapter 118 The main plot begins. I don't know how much time has passed. White snowflakes actually fell on this half of the island in the forest. But the desert on the opposite side of the island is still very hot. The weather in the top places is completely different. It's really a world of ice and fire. Kong Zan sighed inwardly. Wow. The weather has suddenly become very cold these days. Yari had already put on a cotton padded jacket. I stood on the boat and sighed. Yeah, what the hell kind of weather is this? Yamato said he didn't understand and curled up. Because she was careless and didn't wear much clothes. She should have worn more clothes. Let me see. It's minus 15 degrees now. Move around. If it's too cold, wear more clothes. Just treat it as cold resistance training. Kong Zan looked at everyone and said calmly. His words didn't make any sense. After all, the distance between him and the cold air around him is infinite. Hey. Forget it, there's nothing we can do. After all, it's draining. Yamato sighed with emotion. After all, if you want to defeat Kaidos, you have to go through all kinds of training. There is no way around this. Yamato. Duel. A sword appeared in Yari's hand and pointed directly at Yamato. The temperature on the Toki seemed to melt the snowflakes near it. Good guy. Just challenge each other if you don't agree. It's just that. Yamato didn't say anything, and the coldness in his whole body was released. He glanced at Yeri. A nice blue sword appeared in his hand at some point. Wait a minute. If you want to use your abilities, go down below. Kong Zan immediately stopped. What to do if the boat breaks? It doesn't matter if you usually exercise your armed skills and knowledge skills on the ship. When the time comes, you will breathe fire at one moment and ice at the other. Although this ship can repair itself, it cannot be built like this. Okay, brother Kong Zan. Yeri, let's go down. The big one looked at Yeri seriously. Let's go. Yeri nodded lightly. Just like that, the war was about to break out. But Kong Zan didn't care. Just watch it calmly. Speaking of which, Mikasa's mission will probably take a lot of time. But Alan is dead. Was forcibly killed by Mikasa. After all, it was easy for her to use the power of shadow to assassinate and so on. And no one will find out. Speaking of which, Robin, Raftalia, Chelsea, and Sally U are all going with her in the third team. In order to balance the number of people in each division, Kong Zan specially placed Chelsea and Sayai Liu in this team. Speaking of which, Sayai Liu is really brainwashed and hopeless. At that time, I wanted to kill myself. As a result, he was killed by himself. And then resurrected with Nirvana rebirth. In this way, she became her subordinate. I have no interest in resurrecting myself. Let her learn boxing and marksmanship now. She should be good at both. Watching the battle between Hiri and Yamato on the island. I feel so deep inside. By the way, it's okay if Aden and Kaido just get there. These two people have become more and more capable recently. Kong Zan couldn't help but chuckle. That's not bad either. Can train each other. Zazi. Then you can take them to practice domineering. Kong Zan looked at Xezi beside him and said, Okay, Seko nodded lightly. The weather is cold. It's also good to train in this situation. After all, resistance to cold is also part of what a warrior needs. The cold wind howled. But it can't stop the pace of getting stronger. Everyone endures the extreme cold at this time. Conduct training. Private chat. Mikasa, brother Kong Zan, just like you said, those are Makai people. Anna has drank your blood and was convinced by us. Kong Zan, well done. Mikasa, of course. Please believe me, I will definitely rule this world in the near future. Kong Zan, I always believe in you, Mikasa. Mikasa, he he it's been a long time since I slept with brother Kong Zan. Waiting for me to come back, Kong Zan. Yes, yes, I'm waiting. Kong Zan couldn't help but chuckle, and Mikasa stuck to herself if this look of her were to be developed a little. She would not be able to play songs every night. After all, she is so simple now, so dedicated and she loves the gospel of the god of war. Kong Zan said, even though there are so many girls on board, I also have pure love and am sincere to everyone. Ha, huh, little Mikasa is so cute. Kong Zan felt very comfortable inside. After all, being liked by a girl is indeed a happy thing. Look at the white clouds in the sky. He was a little curious, what would they be like in the future? Dash, 15 years later. That's where everything started. Each group member also has a high status in their own world. Mikasa has unified the giant world, and the third team has returned early. The giant world is led by Christa. The original plan was to capture her as a crew member, 
but it is true that the world also needs a leader. But she had already drank her own blood, so Kong Zan wasn't worried about this guy messing around. After all, in the original work, the other party got pregnant out of nowhere, and even the husband didn't know who it was, leaving Kong Zan speechless. This is not okay, I can't let her go. Talk. Now that the girls on the ship have drank Kong Zan's blood, they will basically stop growing when they reach the age of 16 to 18. Now she remains in the state of a young girl. I stayed on this uninhabited island for 15 years. Everyone's weapon color and knowledge color have reached advanced or top level. They are definitely the strongest pirate team now. Don't question it. In the past 15 years, in order to help these group members gain status in their respective worlds, Kong Zan has not invited new members. Now, Kan Ki Ken has become the harmonious leader of ghouls and humans. And they also sent Kairi Shimatuka, Dakatsuki Izumi, Hinami. Yoen Bayashi Psycho, and Minato Akatsuki. At that time, I just casually mentioned, by the way, these girls are pretty and then Kan Ki Ken made a quick decision and sent them directly. This wave of operations made me confused. As a result the 5th division was established. The captain was handed over to Dakatsuki Izumi. After drinking her own blood, she still listened to her words. And all ghouls have a strong attraction to themselves. Offering them blood to drink is impossible to refuse. Akatsuki Mino also sent it and Kong Zan didn't expect it. It seems that CCG later went to find Kan Ki Ken to trouble him, but at that time, Kan Ki Ken bought Saiyan blood and Kai Gong. As a result, ahem. Basically few people are alive. Go back. By the way, Kan Ki Ken was able to kill so decisively because he had experienced something more painful than 1007 before. Kan Ki Ken was picked on by the gecko, then tortured, and eventually died. This guy is really dead. Just one night. At that time, Kong Zan woke up. It turned out that Kan Ki Ken was dead. There was nothing I could do, so I hurried over and resurrected him. So, I regarded myself as a god. I was speechless. Later, I sent Dong Xiang and four other girls over, and there was probably some element of this in them. Outrageous. That's outrageous. Chapter 119 Promotion to Management And that guy no Fumi Iwatani. He almost rules another world. Sayata Kagi and Shahomano has successfully ruled two blue stars. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. Right. Hinata Hinata's words were also brought over by Kong Zan from behind. Ninja World War or something. He traveled through it and solved it in a matter of seconds. I still remember Yuakai Hamadara's expression of disbelief. It's so funny. Oh, and that Kaguya. The appearance of being spanked by myself. Alas, I can't help it. These guys are far behind me. Anyway, they finally let them seal Kaguya. The next time I see myself unblocked, I don't know what my expression will be. There are also butterflies that endure. After settling the matter, everyone came to me. I also got Nezuko, Kanaro and Mitsuri Kanoji. Because when they go on a mission, when the butterfly ninja encountered danger, he went over by himself and then met them. Nezuko wanted to become a human, so she let her drink her own blood. Although she was not considered a human, it could completely resolve the side effects of ghosts. Kanroji Mitsuri met Muhan later on a mission. I don't know what happened to the ghost butterfly effect. Fortunately, Shinobu met him and gave him a bottle of blood. Then there is a connection, and you will be loyal to yourself subconsciously. After Shinobu kills Muzin, they will naturally follow. Orohana Rakanao also drank her own blood under the persuasion of her two sisters. The current members have also undergone some changes. Shinobu and the others also came over and became the sixth division on the ship. There are really more and more people. The new members' tasks have been completed long ago. Kong Zan looked at the form in his hand, which was the current team list of members. There was no way. There were too many people, and a form had to be drawn up. Dash, one first team captain, Yamato members, Seko, Ryo, Kimijima Kana, Sasha, Anna two second team captain, Yari members, Maginet, Aria, Esther C, Seiyu, Ganata three team three captain, Mikasa members, Robin, Raftalia, Chelsea, Sarah four team four captain, Red Haitumi members, Black Haitumi, Main, Lenai, Hill five fifth division captain, Dakatsuki Izumi members, Kairi Shimatuka, Hinami, Minato Akatsuki, Yoen Bayashi Seko 6 6 Division Captain, Butterfly Kani Members, Butterfly Ninja, Kanu, Nazuko, Kanroji There are 32 people in Millie. Dash, next. Kong Zan looked at his system again. I haven't watched it for a long time. Name, Kong Zan Gender, Male Age, 18. Note, Age based on physical condition. Possessing the character ability no side effects. Ghost King Musin, Step Guni Enishi, Ain't So All Middle Dot Gu, Bone King, Saitama, Gojo Saitoru, Meliodas, Beerus, God of Destruction, Gilgamesh, King of Heroes, Hold Bloodline, No Side Effects, Held by Pura Breed Saiyan's Ability, No Side Effects, Vector Operation LV5, Possessed Skills, Top 3 Color Hegemony, Wukong Jutsu, Vitality Slash, Vitality Bomb, Perfect Free Ultimate Intention Kung Fu, Teleportation, Possessed Props, Slavery Chain X50, Gene Enhancement Potion Law Strength, Dimension Level, High Level God, Mission, 1, Main Line, 
declare the world with invincibility in the war at the top that the celestial dragons are hybrids too. Long-term tasks, none unknowingly, I have reached the dimensional level. Further upgrades will cost 7.5 million points, and I only have 1.8 million points left. Kong Zan sighed. This can't go up. By the way, it's time to set up an administrator in the group. Sure enough, they are still the ones. Group chat. Congratulations to Buzujima Seko for being promoted to administrator by the group leader. Congratulations to Butterfly Ninja for being promoted to administrator from the group owner. Congratulations to Mikasa for being promoted to administrator by the group leader. Kanki Ken! Exclamation mark. I what an inofumi, exclamation mark. Dakho Saya, exclamation mark. Red eyes, exclamation mark. Dot. Kanki Ken, let me go, the boss actually mentioned management. First time in so many years. Kanki Ken's eyes were filled with surprise. I what an inofumi colon yes. The boss has been the group leader for so many years, so this is the first time he has mentioned management. Toshian Hong Hong, congratulations to Seko, Shinobu, and Mikasa, Takagi Saya. I'm so envious, Mano Shiho, you are worthy of being the boss's right hand man. Dot. The three people on the boat all looked at Kong Zan in unison. Ren had already run to Kong Zan's side and hugged Kong Zan's right arm with one hand. Kong Zan felt a softness coming from his shoulders. Long live brother Kong Zan. Shinobu cheered happily. At this time, Shinobu had grown up a lot, and he was very bumpy, especially his buttocks. Hey, Shinobu, what's wrong? Yari looked strange. Oh. Shinobu is really getting bolder and bolder. Kani covered her mouth. Seeing Shinobu's actions, he was a little surprised. That's my brother Kong Zan. Mikasa instantly turned into a shadow, swooped over and grabbed Kong Zan's other shoulder. Dot. Seko was speechless. Can I say that I am the official girlfriend? Hey, she was helpless and didn't care. Over the years, she has gotten used to it. She just walked slowly to Kong Zan, smiled softly and whispered, Kong Zan, thank you for trusting us. The calm tone made the two women's emotions gradually calm down. Thank you, brother Kongzin. Thank you, brother Kongzin. The two of them shouted together. Harm, it's nothing. Kongzan shook his head lightly. He touched their heads. Although he has grown a lot taller, he is still shorter than Kongzan. Looking at Seko, she also smiled softly. Seeing the warm atmosphere of the three of them, the women around them were a little confused, but they were also secretly envious. Okay. Everyone is here. It's time to set off. It's been 15 years. It's time for me to take a trip. As for the first goal, Xiaoling. Go to Xiaoyuobu village. Kong Zan shouted loudly. Diddy, searching for destination. Search successful. Dong Hai, Xiaoyuobu village. Confirm again. Do you want to start navigation? Xiaoling said. Yes. And turn on flight mode. Kong Zan looked at the ball of light in front of him and nodded. Start navigation. Turn on airplane mode. Fifteen years have passed. The ship flies into the sky again. The dragon slayer pirates appear in this world again. This time, his target is Kia. That poor girl. Just let yourself help her get rid of her illness. There's no way. Who makes himself such a kind person? Certainly. Only those who are interested in themselves. He can destroy anything that is of no interest or use without hesitation. After using people who have no value, you can destroy them without hesitation. In this real world, there is no morality at all. Rule that only binds the weak. Strongness itself is the rule. Chapter 120 Xiliwabu Village Over the village of Xiliwabu. Wow. Is this here? What a simple island. Yamato looked at the island under the boat with expectant A's. Yes, such a small village. Look, look. There is a big house in the middle. Yari also shouted. And all the people on the island saw this ship in the sky. They all had nervous faces. Hey, what is that? A ship flying in the sky? Could it be a pirate? No way. How could a pirate have such technology? That's right. That's the navy. Aren't all the navy's warships uniform? Ugh. Then who are you talking about? Maybe some wealthy adventurer. Oh, oh, oh. It's possible. Dot. The noisy voices of the villagers spread everywhere. It is said that although Kong Zan and the others have formed a pirate group, they have not yet set up a pirate flag. Therefore, the villagers will not understand who the visitor is. The ship landed on the coast of the island. There won't be too many people entering the island for the time being. Otherwise it may cause trouble. Kong Zan looked at everyone and said, Hey! They looked disappointed. Don't worry, I'll go talk to them first. We have to negotiate first. After all, Passing over someone else's house will cause panic to some extent. Kong Zan chuckled lightly and spoke to them. Okay, there's really nothing we can do. After all, we are a pirate group. Dot. They also understand it very well. In fact, I really want to go there for a walk. Team 6. Kong Zan suddenly shouted. All members of the 6th Division are here. Kani suddenly walked forward from the girls. In addition, there are Shinobu, Kanao, Nazuko, 
and Michuri, follow me. The rest of the members will stay here for a while. Kong Zan waved his hand casually. Then he walked to the boat trail and jumped off the boat with a swish sound. Let's go. Kali also ordered the sixth team. Several women jumped down one after another. In front of you is a slope. Just when they were about to walk over. Hey, who are you? I saw a long nose suddenly walking out of the woods above. Shouted to Kong Zan. Kong Zan glanced at him for a moment and smiled. I am a pirate. He naturally knew the guy in front of him. Isn't that the coward Usopp? C. Pirate. Usopp was immediately startled. In fact, he came to ask because he thought the other party was an adventurer, and he wanted to brag about it. After all, there is no pirate flag on a ship. Then he looked at the pirate ship that was tens of meters high and hundreds of meters long. I felt a little panicked inside. Hi. Pirates. You. If you want to attack this village, just give up. Then he waved his hand. In an instant, Several pirate flags appeared from the surrounding bushes. My 80 million subordinates will not let you go. Usopp shouted. Hey, that's amazing. Really? 80 million? Mili looked surprised. Idiot. Of course it's a lie. We just flew over this island. The total number of villagers is only a thousand. Where are the subordinates? Shinob rolled his eyes at her and spoke directly. Ah, it's been discovered. Seeing that Shinob didn't believe it, Usopp put his head in his hands and his eyes widened as if he didn't expect that his deception would be discovered. You're not asking for it. If I guess correctly, there are only three people holding the pirate flag. Kong Zan grinned slightly and laughed. Over there in the bushes on the mountain. Ah, uh, I've been found out. Run. The three little boys ran away in a hurry. Hey, don't run. This time. But Usopp is the only one left here. Usopp was sweating profusely at this moment. Seeing the large number of people on the other side, he still plucked up the courage. You are only a man. My marbles can kill him in one go. You just... He hadn't finished his words yet. Instantly, the terrifying murderous intention struck. Shwa shwa shwa. The four blades have been unsheathed. Two of them were already on his neck. It's tolerance and beauty. Kani's blade was pointed directly at his head. Michuri is behind it. The niche iron sword in his hand, as soft as a whip but extremely sharp, has been unsheathed. Nezuko quickly stood in front of Kong Zan, trying to resist its attack with his own body. The muscles all over his body exploded, and horns even grew on his head. It's impossible for you to hurt Brother Kong Zin. It's impossible for you to hurt Brother Kong Zin. Dot. They all spoke loudly. Gulu. Usopp was dumbfounded at this moment. He understands. As long as this marble is launched, his body will be torn apart in an instant. He was instantly deflated. Clang. The slingshot in his hand fell to the ground. I. Lost. Usopp lowered his head. This also represented his initiation of surrender. There's all this murderous energy around. It seemed to scare him into fainting. Kong Zan chuckled and hugged Nezuko, who was trying to protect him from harm. He touched her little head lightly. Don't worry, I'm fine, he said softly. Well, boss Kong Zan. Kong Zan's gentleness made Nezuko let go of his open hands. She breathed a sigh of relief, the urgency slowly dissipating. Why are you all so nervous? Kong Zan looked at the figure who was about to cut it into pieces not far away, and he really didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Brother Kong Zan. This is the first time to go to sea, since we have chosen our sixth team. Of course we have to set an example. Don't let anyone pose a threat to you, Kani said seriously. This is what she says to everyone in Division 6 every day. No one can be allowed to go against Kong Zan. Otherwise don't be prepared to kill him at any time. Hey, okay, we still have things to do. Besides, he's not a threat. Kong Zan sighed. Then he said to them, since brother Kong Zan said so, Kani waved her hand and put down the blade, signaling them to withdraw. Then, the women put their swords into their scabbards. Shwa appeared next to Kong Zan in an instant. Extremely fast. Usopp couldn't see clearly at all. He sat down on the ground with his legs weak. His eyes were dull. I was so frightened by the scene just now that I collapsed. His pants even got wet. He was incontinent. In fact, when they released their murderous intent just now, he was holding back, unexpectedly. Still. Even now his body is still shaking. Let's go. Kong Zan ignored Usopp, just walked up the slope. The girls also followed behind him. At this moment, Usopp wanted to tell the villagers that the pirates were coming. But his legs couldn't stand up. Dot at this moment, on the boat. I didn't expect brother Kong Zan to let him go. Then we don't have to take action. Yamato waved his hand casually. Hey, brother Kong Zan is still as gentle as ever. Yeri sighed softly. Dot as for Kong Zan, it's not because he is gentle that he doesn't kill him. He just wanted to see it. With his own intervention, what will become of the Straw Hat Pirates in the future? Chapter 121 Kia Ouch! This villa is really big. Kong Zan looked at the huge villa. It feels good. There were several bodyguards in black at the door. Let's go. Kong Zan walked forward directly. What are you doing? The bodyguard in front of the gate immediately moved forward to stop him. Does it have anything to do with you? Kong Zan opened his eyes slightly. The terrifying overlord color instantly enveloped the entire audience. Pap. Tap. Several men in black immediately rolled their eyes and fell down. Then, Kong Zan walked forward. The door opened automatically. They just walked right in. Tap. Step. 
step. Basically there is no obstacle all the way. Chloe isn't here. He must have gone shopping for groceries. Are you making good friends with the villagers again? TSK, TSK, TSK. Kongzan sighed softly. If you hadn't read the original work, who would have known that this guy could be so scheming? But he is just a little guy worth 16 million baileys. Hey, who are you? At this time, a steward with a sheep-shaped head came over. Kongzan glanced for a moment. He stunned him with his overlord color. Pa. Another person fell down. You must know that his domineering lust is now full. It can even form a physical attack. It really couldn't be easier to stun someone. Miri, can he? Stay at the gate. Nazuko, Shinobi. Stay at the gate of the villa. Catch anyone who comes. Can he? Just follow me. Kongzan give orders directly. Understood. The girls also shouted in unison. They all arrived where Kongzan ordered them to go. Kongzan walked into the villa. The only person behind him was Kani, who was wearing a colorful butterfly patterned ori. D.A. 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 The floor tiles inside are all smooth marble. It will feel crisper when your feet step on it. The two walked to the second floor. Came to a room. Kani Hui. Wait for me at the door for a while. Kongzan said to Kani Hui beside him. Okay. Kani nodded lightly. Greek. Kongzan opened the door and walked in directly. The door was unlocked, so he went straight in. Then he closed the door. Huh? Are you sleeping? Kongzan raised his eyebrows. Unexpectedly, the little guy Kia was still taking a nap. He chuckled. Step by step towards Kia. He sat beside his bed. She has golden hair and very fair skin. Kongzan rubbed her cheek. It's very soft. He smiled lightly. Kia slowly opened her eyes. But when he opened his eyes, he saw a strange face. Suddenly, I felt a little panicked inside. She sat up and asked hurriedly, You dot who are you? Me? I'm here to save you today. Kongzan narrowed his eyes slightly and said, Huh? Help me? Kia's eyes were filled with confusion. The person in front of me looked very handsome dot and gentle. It reassured her a little. Are you the doctor invited by me Lee? Is there any way to make my health better? Kia asked curiously. Kongzan took out the glass bottle that he had prepared. It contained bright red blood. Drink it and you'll be fine. Kongzan took the glass bottle and handed it to Kia. Hey, what is this? Kia took the glass bottle curiously. Well, you can use it as a rare healing potion. Kongzan looked at Kia. He nodded with a slightly serious expression. Ah, a rare healing potion. Then let me give it a try. Kia actually had no idea because she didn't know if this thing could heal her body. I've been to the doctor several times in the past, but to no avail. But she also wants to go out and doesn't want to stay in the villa every day. Then let's treat a dead horse as a living horse doctor. She closed her eyes and drank it directly. Hey, I just finished drinking. Kia felt that her body instantly became much lighter. And the strength in his body also increased. So dot so amazing. Kia's face showed surprise. I didn't lie to you. Did I? Kongzan narrowed his eyes and chuckled. Then he continued. Kia, how about going to sea with me? Going to sea? Kia looked at Kongzan again. She felt that the two of them had a kind of connection. And she laughed. Okay, let's go to sea together. What's your name? Kyo asked curiously. Kongzan, just call me brother Kongzan. I am a pirate. Kongzan laughed. Huh? Pirate? Kia covered her mouth, slightly shocked. Don't worry, even though he is a pirate, he is not as violent as you think. We are all free. Kongzan stretched out his hand and rubbed her head. Is that so? Kia blinked, curious. However, not every pirate is like this. For example. Claude, that is your butler, Krabitel. Kongzan finished. A wanted warrant appeared in his hand with a reward of 16 million yuan. This person is Beiji Keluo. What? Crabattle, too. Pirate. Kia was very surprised. Yeah, and he also plans to kill you. But his words are unfounded. Let me show you a memory. Kongzan thought for a while. The two are now connected. Then just show her the memory directly. That's an original dialogue. Crow and Zhangao discuss. The conversation about killing Kia and grabbing the inheritance. Dot. How could? Crabattle actually. Kia also received that memory in her mind. But at this moment, she was just surprised. There doesn't seem to be so much sad emotion. Do not know why. At this moment, her heart was focused on the man in front of her. But you are so awesome. How did you do it? Show me the conversation between Krabata and that person. Kia looked surprised. Is this it? Secret. Kongzan rubbed her little head. And then continued. Let's go then. He stretched out his hand. Kia put her hand up. Her hands are soft. Kongzan pulled it up. Ha. Huh. I really feel so relaxed all over my body. Kia stretched and said happily. You're still young. But your figure is actually not bad. Kongzan touched his chin and looked at it. Now Kia is just wearing a white skirt and pajamas. Brother Kongzan, you're a pervert. He noticed Kongzan's gaze. Kia blushed and subconsciously hugged her chest. Ha ha, really? Kongzan chuckled. It seemed like someone was complimenting me. I'll change clothes first. I'll go out later. Kia looked at Kongzan. That expression was totally you know what I mean? Yes, I'll wait for you at the gate. Kongzan paused, then leaned into Kia's ear and said, Don't let me go, 
little Kia. After that, ah, uh, he bit Kia's shoulder, hiss. Kia felt a slight pain on her shoulder. It seems dot a little bit cool. Kia felt a little overwhelmed inside. This is good. He looked at the teeth marks left behind. He narrowed his eyes. Leave a mark, then you will be mine. Woo <laughs> Brother Kongzin, even if you don't leave mark, I will go with you. I, I also want to see the outside world. Kia pouted, then looked out the window. Who wouldn't want to go outside if they could? Okay. Then I'll wait for you. Kong Zan turned around and went out. Chapter 122 Leaving. Get out the door. Let's go, Kani. She will come out later. Kong Zan said and walked towards the first floor. Okay. Kani's cheeks were a little rosy. It seemed like I heard something I shouldn't have heard. Thinking secretly. Brother Kong Zan is such a domineering man. The two walked out. And Crow, who came back from shopping for groceries, had actually been arrested. Who are you? Crow was tied up with a rope at this moment. He looked at me Lee and Shane are fiercely, because it was the two of them who defeated him. And just for a moment, he gritted his teeth and looked at the two of them. Unexpectedly, he couldn't even beat two girls with all his tricks. What did you do to Miss Kia? Crow shouted, glaring at the two of them. Oops, I didn't expect Beiji Kelluo to fall to this point. Kong Zan walked over with a chuckle. You, what? It's you. Crow's eyes suddenly widened, became stunned. Huh? You know me? Kong Zan raised his eyebrows. He looked a little curious. The other party's expression clearly meant that he knew himself. Ha ha, who wouldn't know the Lord of the Death Forbidden Zone 17 years ago who only had three slaves? He violently beat up the celestial dragons and founded the dragon slaying pirates. Crow curled his lips. I didn't expect that I would fall into this. It has been 17 years and your appearance has not changed. I just heard that there was a ship flying in the sky. I thought it was you Soap who was lying again. I didn't expect. It was you who came. Now that I think about it, it's exactly the same way as when I left Chambord Islands number 13. He continued, as expected of Beiji Kelluo, he still has some brains. Kong Zan nodded lightly. But I don't understand. Why are you here? Crow looked at Kong Zan. That look. It seems that even if he wants to die, he must die clearly. I'm not interested in talking to you anymore. Anyway. I'll take Kia away today. Kong Zan didn't say much, because at this time, Kia had already come from behind him. He changed into light clothes and wore a yellow-orange coat. Why? Why did you take away? Before Crow could finish speaking, he was interrupted by Kia. Krabitel. Kia felt slightly unhappy when she saw him now. I really didn't expect you to do these things for the inheritance. Now, please leave here. Kia frowned and shouted to him. Miss Kia. I. Crow didn't know what to say for a moment. Otherwise, Let's kill him. Kong Zan raised his eyebrows and said, Ah? Kia was a little dumbfounded. After all, she had never seen anything like killing. If you let him go, it would be more troublesome if he brought other members of the pirate group. Wouldn't it be more troublesome, isn't it? Kong Zan looked at Kia and said lightly, That's right. Kia thought silently. He nodded lightly. Wait, I'm leaving. At least let me go. But he hadn't finished yet. Kong Zan gently put his hand on his shoulder and said lightly, It's over. Don't say too much. In an instant, Crow was bleeding from all his orifices. Eyes, nose, mouth, ears. Blood was flowing. Kia covered her mouth in surprise. Just a touch. The 16 million pirates actually died directly. Incredible. Let's go and call it a day. Kong Zan waved his hand. Just when Kong Zan and others were preparing to leave. Hey, stop. What are you going to do to Kia? Usopp stood alone in front of Kong Zan and shouted angrily. But his whole body was trembling. TSK. Look at you like that. You still want to stop us? Shinobu covered his mouth and narrowed his eyes and laughed. Usopp, why are you here? By the way, I'm already planning to go to sea with Brother Kong Zin. This time I won't just listen to what you tell me about the sea. I want to go out and see it myself. Kia said, she laughed. You heard it, right? Kia did it voluntarily. Kong Zan said, and put his arms around Kia's shoulders. The corners of his mouth opened slightly, showing a provocative look. Bastard dot how is that possible? You dot you must have done something to Kia. You soap looked angry. How could Kia go with this pirate? Did I do anything to you? Kong Zan raised his eyebrows. He looked at Kia and asked. No, you soap. Brother Kongzin is very nice. He also helped me heal my body. He he. Otherwise I can't go to sea. Kia showed a bright smile. Smile. Very happy. What? Your health is better? You soap looked surprised. I saw Kia's bright smile. Only then did he come to his senses. He didn't expect that this pirate could actually cure Kia's disease. Ahem. Then, I must have misunderstood you. In that case, let me, a brave sea warrior, reluctantly join you. You soap started directing and acting again. Dot. Hey. Hey. We didn't say we wanted you to join. Shinobu curled his lips and said, Yeah, why are you like this? Millie scratched her head. He didn't understand what Usopp's brain circuit was. If Brother Kongzan doesn't say anything, we won't do any external recruitment. Sorry. As expected of the gentle canny, she politely apologized after speaking. Ahem, your strength is indeed not up to standard, and you don't meet our recruitment requirements. Please give way. You're blocking the way. Kongzan looked at Usopp indifferently. What? Then even if Kia is cured? 
It's impossible to meet the conditions. Do you still want to do something to cure? You soap gritted his teeth and continued to ask. And each of you is so strong. No matter what you do to Kia, she will be helpless. I can't let you take her away so easily. You soap continued to have a stalemate with them. TSK. Kong Zan was about to step forward. But Kia took Kong Zan's hand and walked forward directly. Yes, Kia, come to me. I'm helping you. These people must be. You soap looked surprised and thought to himself. Pa. A red mark appeared on his cheek. You soap looked at Kia in disbelief. I'm so disappointed. You soap. He is my savior. And I am willing to get on the ship with them. Stop making trouble unreasonably. Kia scolded. What? Actually. You soap gritted his teeth. He turned around and ran away. There were still tears in his eyes. Cool. Good job. Kong Zan walked forward, put his hand on Kia's head, and looked at you Soap's leaving back. He praised Kia. Sorry for letting him affect you, brother Kong Zan. Let's go. Kia smiled lightly. It seemed that nothing was more important than the man in front of him. Chapter 123 New Members in Group Chat All in all, Kia successfully joined the group. Joined the third team. That is Mikaze's team. But there is also a pity. Other squads did not come out to stroll around the village. At most, Take action at the beach. The reason is, I'm afraid that if I meet this guy you soap, I'll accidentally kill him. In this way, wouldn't the future god you soap be gone? What will you do next? This is for the sake of long-term fun, so keep it for now. So I didn't stay much. Instead, we went directly to Coco West Village. Boss. Can we go out for a walk next time? Yamato looked pitiful. It's boring to be on the boat all the time. Yari also complained to Kong Zan. Kong Zan thought for a while, then looked at everyone and said, The next stop is the village occupied by the fishermen, with your strength, there is really no problem, then we will act as a unit, right, don't act alone, you can do it, right, this time, they were inspired, okay, finally we can take action, brother Kongzan is not allowed to lie this time, dot, they all became happy too, a good mood is the most important thing, group chat, to shine hong hong, my strength has also increased a lot over the years, but how come you all rule the world, to shine hong hong complained silently, she never left to shine again, mano shiho, because brother Kong Zan gave me a bunch of powerful subordinates, I can easily rule this world, Goching sire, after all, I am a genius, but most of it is because of the help and guidance of brother Kong Zan, Kan Ki Ken, I'm not ruling the world, right, it's just that they can't kill me, butterfly ninja, hey, your words are inexplicably familiar, Hinata Hinata, brother Kong Zan also said that, no Fumi Iwatani, long live the slave, as long as there are enough slaves, no one is an opponent, no Fumi Iwatani, by the way, if everyone in this different world is turned into slaves, doesn't that count as ruling the world? Butterfly Ninja, thoughts are a bit dangerous. Kanki Ken, so cruel. Doesn't that count as ruling the entire planet? Let me go, brother Nofumi is awesome. I what an Inofumi, ha 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 ha, brother Kanki is exaggerating. Kong Zan, 6. I what an Inofumi, he he, that's still not as good as Big 6. Kong Zan, you kid can talk. Kong Zan. 15 years have gone by very quickly. It feels like it has gone by in a blink of an eye. Kong Zan, it's time to invite new blood. Kan Ki Ken, oh ho ho, is there finally a new person coming in? Butterfly Ninja, so many years. Brother Kong Zan has not invited new people for the sake of the stability of our world, and it's finally time. I what an Inofumi, this is true. Very cool. Exclamation mark. Ding welcome Menakemi to join the group chat. Ding welcome Bay Axiophi to join the group chat. Ding welcome Bummer to the group chat. Kan Ki Ken. Welcome new members. No Fumi Iwatani. Welcome. By the way, there seems to be a name that looks familiar. Butterfly Ninja. At and at Ho have the same last name. Toshine Hong Hong. Really? Menuakami. At Ho why are you here? Mano Shiho. Question mark elder sister. Aren't you dead? Menuakami. Huh? You don't have to curse your sister like this, right? By the way, what kind of black technology is this? A group chat projected directly into your mind? Mano Shiho. Ah. Let's ask the boss. At. What's going on? Menuakami. Boss. Boss? Question mark it can't be. Kong Zan. Don't worry, he's not the boss of the black organization. Kong Zan. In that case, let me explain it briefly. Kong Zan. This world of it is one of the millions of parallel universes that belong to the world of it ho. Kong Zan. Your two worlds are very similar. At you are already dead in the world of it ho. And in your world, you may die in the future. Kong Zan. Because what I invite is the closest parallel universe. There is almost no difference. If you follow the original direction. Only one molecule or atom may change in your two worlds. Kong Zan, in other words, it will still die for the same reasons as in at Ho's world. Menuakemi, parallel universe? Question mark what the hell? It's too brain burning. Mano Shiho, is this really the case? Don't worry at Menuakemi's sister, I won't let you die again. Mano Shiho, the worst thing is, I will rule the world again. Menuakemi, question mark what the hell is world domination? Will I die unexpectedly in the future? Question mark. Mano Akemi's mind was filled with questions. I'm numb. I feel like I'm going to have a brain. Kong Zan, at at ho I will give you two permission to have private chats, 
Shibao, go and explain to her. Mano Shiho, okay. Baixiofi, let me go, have all the parallel universes come out? Group leader, then my world is also a parallel universe, right? When will I die in the future? Baixiofi was really confused, but he would rather believe it than believe it, so he had to ask first. Kong Zan, you no longer belong to the parallel world, you belong to another plane. Kong Zan, it should be the zombie world. Baixiofi, ha? Huh? Question mark. Dakho Sire, zombies? Kong Zan, I'd say the zombies in his world are completely different from the zombies in your world. Kong Zan, the zombies in that world will be stronger, and even nuclear weapons may not be able to kill them. Baixiofi, I'll go, it's so outrageous, don't scare me. How could there be such terrifying zombies? Others are stupid. Zombies can't even be killed by nuclear weapons, so how outrageous would that be? Koching Sire, that is indeed outrageous. Our zombies will die with just a headshot. Kong Zan, and there is also a zombie king in your world. That guy can be resurrected even if he dies. How do you plan to fight him? Baixiofi, come on, no need to fight. Just stay at home and wait for death. Kong Zan, if young people are so discouraged, let me give you a suggestion. Save your points and go to the system mall to buy a gene potion first. Baixiofi, gene potion? Okay. Kong Zan, at Bulma, are you still diving? Come out and chat. Has anything interesting happened to you recently? Bulma? Zombie? Parallel universe? Are you really from another world? Bulma had some understanding of these, but she was completely blind to other worlds. Because the other worlds here do not refer to other planets or other universes, it is truly a different world. Kong Zan, of course, first tell me if anything interesting has happened to you recently. Bulma, I found a dragon ball at home. I heard that if you collect seven of them, you can make a wish. Bulma, I was just going to go out to find the dragon balls. Chapter 124 The group leader takes me to fight zombies. Kong Zan. That's it. It seems like you don't need to worry too much. Kong Zan, after all, it's still early. Bulma, so you also know the future of my world? Kong Zan, your world is very complicated. Kong Zan, this means that you originally had 18 universes, but six of them were eliminated by Quain Wang. Bulma, wait wait dot what the hell is King Quain? And how can there be so many universes? Bulma was immediately stunned. Kong Zan, King Quain is the most powerful god in your world, and can eliminate all universes with a single thought. Kan Ki Ken. So terrifying. I what an Inofumi, God, is this level called God? Butterfly Ninja, so awesome. All the universes are the 18 universes that Brother Kong Zan mentioned before, right? Bulma, is this so scary? Then he can destroy everything at will. Kong Zan, elimination, elimination. Kong Zan, it's as simple as typing a word and then deleting it. Kan Ki Ken, hiss, I what an Inofumi, what kind of existence is that? Bulma, this. Bulma suddenly didn't know what to say. Such a terrifying existence. Baixiofi, let me go. Isn't that better than the corpse king? Carrying a nuclear bomb doesn't seem to matter. Kong Zan, it's really nothing, so you have to be able to beat it. Ha ha ha. Bulma, then dot what should we do? Bulma asked. Kong Zan, but don't worry, it will take a long time for this kind of thing to happen. Kong Zan, this kind of crisis will take almost more than 20 years, right? Bulma, 20 years is not much. Is there any way to solve this crisis? Kan Ki Ken, Ad Bulma climbed into the bed of the group leader and everything became easy. Kan Ki Ken was banned by the administrator for one hour. Butterfly Ninja, if you can't speak, don't speak. Bushima Seko, as expected of Shinobu. Mikasa, okay. Kan Ki Ken wanted to cry but had no tears. It's over. It's really hard to mix. No Fumi Iwatani, brother Kan Ki is so pitiful. In fact, I think what he said is quite reasonable. Anyway. The group leader doesn't care that there is one more and one less. No Fumi Iwatani was banned by the administrator Mikasa for two hours. Butterfly Ninja, wow, Mikasa, your hand speed is faster than mine. Bujima Seko, well done. Mikasa, how disgusting, come again. Mikasa looked at Kong Zan not far away, and the girls around. Enough, really enough. Don't come, she misses the time a few years ago when she was the only one who had Kong Zan at night. Later, Seko also came, Shinobu also came. And then they all came. Now it's a shift system. Two every night, and they sleep alternately. The euphemistic name is protecting the sky. Hey, I really want to hold brother Kong Zan every day. Mikasa muttered quietly. Forget it. Mikasa, there are more and more people. I don't have much chance now. Seko sighed softly next to Mikasa, with a look of helplessness. You are obviously your real girlfriend, okay? Uck, Seko sister. I'm going to sleep in your bed tonight. Mikasa said and hugged Seko. He looked pitiful. Okay. Of course no problem. Seko smiled slightly. He rubbed Mikasa's little head. Bulma, are you the leader of the group? Bulma asked curiously. Kong Zan, Butterfly Ninja, the leader of the group is not handsome. He is already 40 years old this year. Mikasa, yes, and very thin. Bujima Seko, well, that's not the case either. Kong Zan, hey, Xizi, 
What do you mean? Kong Zan was immediately numb. Instantly appeared next to Seko and Mikasa. I said, Zizi, are you in need of cleaning up? Kong Zan directly put his arm on Zizi's shoulder. HMPH, you just can't do it anyway. You must be weak because you haven't slept with me for so long. Seko curled her lips. Okay, come to my room tonight. Kong Zan didn't say much. When Mikasa saw this scene, her eyes lit up and she quickly said, That's right, brother Kong Zan must be dead and won't sleep with me. Mikasa. You, Kong Zan's eyes twitched and he looked again. He he, Seko covered her mouth and chuckled. Okay, okay, Mikasa, let's come together tonight. Kong Zan looked at Mikasa and rubbed her head. Although I have grown so big without realizing it. But in Kong Zan's eyes, she is as cute as ever. He he, Mikasa laughed, as expected of Sister Seko. So cool. There is such a way. Bulma, R. Forget it. Bulma heard their descriptions and immediately had a picture. A greasy middle-aged man who is super thin and weak. It's a woman and I have no idea. Tu Shan Hong Hong, as expected of you. Tu Shan Hong Hong's face turned red. When she thought of Kong Zan's appearance, she also knew that Mikasa and the others must be afraid that someone would snatch it from them. Hey, when can I see Boss Kong Zan again? Looking at the huge bitterness tree, Hong Hong's mood became a little bitter. Kong Zan, okay, stop talking. Kong Zan, the tropic continues on the right track. Kong Zan, in short. When Bulma comes, you should meet a little kid named Sun Wukong. Baixiofi, what? Sun Wukong? Exclamation mark. Kong Zan, yes, yes, it's not the Sun Wukong you think. Listen to me, Kong Zan, that Sun Wukong is not an earthling, but an alien. His original name is Kakarot. He originally came to occupy the earth, but he lost his memory after a fall and was taken home and taught by an earthling named Sun Wuhan. Kong Zan, now he is not much different from the people on earth, but he has the blood of Saiyans and he will have the opportunity to become the god of Saiyans in the future. Kong Zan, in this case, the earth can be protected. Bulma, there is such a thing. Bulma looked surprised. In this case, when the time comes to find the Dragon Balls, she can really pay attention to them. Kong Zan, that's probably what happened. The old rule is that if there is any danger, you can just say something and call the group members or me to come over. Kong Zan, as long as I am here, the world in the group will not be destroyed so easily. Even if King Quain eliminates your world, I will go over and kill King Quain to avenge you. Baixiofi, 6, group leader, help me defeat the corpse king. Kong Zan, when you encounter Zi, but you won't just grab the zombie king dragon, there are so many more. Your own improvement is also very important. Baixiofi, I understand, boss. Baixiofi, with the help of the boss, everything will be easy. Kong Zan, I'll give you a goal, to rule the world. Baixiofi, 6, boss, you really know how to joke. Kong Zan, who is kidding you? There are several people in our group who have successfully ruled the world. Chapter 125 New Okay Gao. Kong Zan, who is kidding you? There are several people in our group who have successfully ruled the world. Baixiofi, exclamation mark. Mano Shiho, it's really not a big deal. Sayatakagi, rule the world? It's simple for this genius. Mikasa, it's a piece of cake. Baixiofi, 6, is it true or not? Are the group members so strong? Kong Zan, we are. A chat group for all heavens. Kong Zan. What do you think? Baixiofi, he is really a boss per capita. Kong Zan, okay, okay, I won't say more. If you don't understand anything, just ask. Kong Zan sighed softly. My next mission is to fight the war, and I don't know if I will have to wait until the year of the monkey. It's really hard, judging from the current situation. Luckily we have plenty of time. Kong Zan felt a little helpless. Looking at the sun blocked by white clouds, my heart felt a little hot. Based on my understanding of the original work, even if I am not here, no one can defeat my pirate group. Who? Carefree, leisurely. A few more days have passed since the sea flight. The sky is blue and the clouds are white. Kong Zan looked at the island not far away. It was obvious that it was almost the Coco West village. The ship landed in the harbor. All the girls also came down. Huh. I can finally breathe. Yari took a deep breath. Oh, the air outside is so refreshing. Yamato also sighed. Hey, who is this? At this time, two fishermen came over. Oh. What a big ship. Is it an adventurer, or a pirate? And there are so many women. Boss Aaron will be very happy to see it. Looking at the scene in front of him, one of the fishermen became excited. Ha ha ha. Let's just catch them all. Another fisherman also laughed. But the next second, shwa shwa. The sharp edges of the two blades were revealed. One was burned to ashes, the other is frozen into ice cubes and then shattered. It was just a matter of a moment. When will it be this bastard's turn to bark as much as he wants? Yamato scolded lightly. A look of disdain. Hey, it's true. Let's go shopping first. Clean up these troublesome fishmen. Yari sighed with emotion. Then, the girls also came down one after another. More than thirty people. Okay, let's move around freely. Kong Zan ordered. Okay. All the girls also responded. And Kong Zan. I wanted to go to Nami's house and visit her. He followed the image of the original memory and walked out. Dot oh dot that's it. Kong Zan looked at Fangman. It didn't seem to be locked, 
so he pushed it open. Who? The people inside shouted quickly. Look outside. Dot is it Nyokagao? Kong Zan thought to himself. And Nokagao is Nami's sister. Kong Zan looked at the girl. She has blue hair and simple short-sleeved clothes. He also has tattoos on his body. It's obviously Nyoki who is taller. As if realizing someone was coming, he stood up quickly. He also held photos of Nami. Bellamere and her. Hello. Kong Zan chuckled. You dot I haven't seen you before. Are you from outside the island? Nokagao frowned slightly and started to ask. That's right. This is Coco West Village, right? It's really miserable. There are fishmen everywhere. Kong Zan said. You weren't caught by them? Foreign intruders are usually caught and their finances are emptied out. Nuochi raised her eyebrows and asked curiously. Don't worry, my people have already gone to deal with them. Kong Zan walked forward. He patted Nuochigao's shoulder and spoke calmly. What? No, we have to let them come back. All your people will die. Nokagao looked horrified. After all, Aaron's fear had been deeply planted in her heart. She was extremely worried and sighed. Don't worry, they are very strong. Kong Zan said nonchalantly. Is this so? Hey, Nuokigo sighed lightly. She no longer stopped her, but asked out of curiosity, Why are you helping us? He looked at Kong Zan. But Kong Zan sat down casually. Then he said calmly, How can there be so many reasons? By the way, if we can solve Eren's matter, then will you come with us? How? Kong Zan asked with great interest. He looked at Nokigao and asked, Go with you? Nuokigao frowned and suddenly asked, Who are you? Me? It's a pirate. Kong Zan narrowed his eyes and said, What? Pirate? Hearing these two words, Nuochi took a step back. He seemed a little panicked. Hey, why are you so afraid? Is it possible that you still expect those idle navy to help you? Those navy have been bribed by Aaron a long time ago. I won't help you even if I try to attack you. Kong Zan chuckled lightly. Damn it, those marines actually. Nokagao gritted his teeth. No wonder there has been no news from Aaron for so many years. Unexpectedly, the navy had already been bribed. What a fucking arsehole. Nokagao thought to himself. Do you really want me to go with you? Nokagao looked at Kong Zan and asked. Of course. After all. You are doing business with pirates. Kong Zan grinned and smiled. Dot. Okay, as long as you let me see Aaron's head on his neck, I'll go with you. New Okigao's eyes became firm. He looked at Kong Zan very seriously. Simple and simple. Aaron is just a henchman of the Sun Pirates. It's not the Shikai Bukai, let alone a Yonko. It would be as easy for me to kill him as crushing an ant. So you just don't worry. Kong Zan chuckled lightly. Shikai Bukai, Yonko. Nokagao thought about these guys in her mind. She had seen them in newspapers in the past. The Shikai Bukai are great pirates who take orders from the navy. The four emperors are even called the emperors of the sea. How could the man in front of him have the confidence to say such a thing? New Okigao was extremely shocked. Who else could talk about the four emperors so casually? Could it be the biggest pirate on the sea? But it doesn't feel right. The other person looked like he was only 20 years old. How could it be a big pirate? Nokagao was thinking but couldn't figure out the reason. I know what you are thinking. Are you guessing who I am? Why can you talk about the Shikai Bukai and the Four Emperors so casually? Kong Zan said calmly. But these words seemed to hit Nokagao's heart directly. You dot how do you know? Nokagao asked. Eyes widened. Have you ever heard of the Death Forbidden Zone and the Dragon Slayer Pirates? Kong Zan raised his eyebrows and asked. Death Forbidden Zone? Although it happened 15 years ago. Melb L told me. She frowned. Suddenly startled. Looked at Kong Zan and asked. Is it possible? You are. Yes. I am not talented. It is the captain of the Dragon Slayer Pirates, Kong Zan. Kong Zan's mouth opened slightly. What? It's really true, Kong Zan. That Kong Zan who beat up the Celestial Dragons, massacred tens of thousands of pirates in Area 13 of the Chambord Islands, and offered a reward of 1 billion billy dash. 